Let me see that. Give me a game. So which game do you want to try first, Shane? Oh, that. Thank God a communication error has occurred. Uh, the, the thing's over. This was a, uh, uh, open beta. It was last weekend. Yeah, yeah, I know. We don't... This is my stream, yeah, I streamed this last weekend. For like, a little bit. Well, how, would you say it's a good Gundam game? Are there good Gundam games? <laughs> There's only a couple. There's a handful. They're very small. Very small amount. And... Let's go ahead and delete Which that. ones would you consider to be the best Gundam games? Um, probably the Dynasty Warriors ones. Mm -hmm. Sadly. I'll be right back, Shane. Are you going to be right back, though? I'll be right back after these messages. I'll be right back after Spaghetti News. Alright, let's throw a PlayStation 4 game in the PlayStation 4 Boys. Now let's change this up to edit. Let's see. We're going to... Uh, Kingdom Heart Sue Boys Kingdom Hearts what, what is this disc called, Gabe? This is <clears throat> Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix HD Okay, that's the one I'm clicking there's like a hundred different fucking Kingdom Hearts things. Oh, there's a hundred, or there's like eight games, they, I think. They released this game like 1,400 fucking times. And that was, I mean, that's that's about it. They're like, hey man, how, how much money can we make it off these, these guys that have never played the Kingdom Hearts suit? The ones that have played it a lot. There's a Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Rechain Memory of Chains? Memories. Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts X, Kingdom Hearts Key. Dude, there's way, you're, you're going over way too many. Developed by Square Enix, it said. Mm hmm 1.5 HD, bro. This is the reason why I ever played a Final Fantasy game. What is Final Mix? Uh, Final Mix is the sequence, they did a, that, Re-releasing -re these is not a new thing. Okay, they would release which it initially. One is this one, that is the one you don't want to play. Is that the first game? No, the top one is the first game. This is the first game. N do you want to play the first game? Yeah, we're going in the order, dude. We're gonna beat all of them. Oh god. Ugh. I gotta pee first. Get some ass off. All right. Well, you're about to hear the best J-pop song of all fucking time, huh? Am I though? Yeah. Are you playing or am I playing? Okay. Who's the playboy? I'm playing. Okay. Now you should have played coded first. What's coded? No. Coded is the best Kingdom Hearts game. That's what chat says. Yeah, the chat's wrong. When, when does ta when does Coded take place? Give me the controller. Coded, if you want to play the literal first, chronologically first one, that is uh, Dream Drop Distance. This is the first one, like, ever actually made. So I want to go from the shittiest game to the best game, right? So start with the first game first, right? No, you want to start with Coded if you want to do that. <laughs> okay. I haven't played Coded, but I don't ever want he to play He says you're fucking wrong. He says Coded is awesome. Is Coded actually awesome? I've never played it. So I play Final Mix Beginner, Final Mix Mix, or Final Mix Proud, dude? Uh, I play Proud. Always. Proud is fun. Select camera set. Manually rotate using the right stick. If you start with Proud, you get extra XP. Select the setting. What? That just oh, makes vibration. your controller vibrate. Hell yeah, I want vibration so I can put that shit in my ass. Don't be a little bitch. Go with, go with proud. I've never played this fucking game before. It's a beat em up. No, it's not. Oh, it's just a beat em up. He, he still says coded is the best. 
All right, Conan I'll... explains the story perfectly for newcomers, he says. Really? Sh- like, should I quit right now and go to Coded? I've never played Coded, so this will be a new experience for me. I thought Coded was just a re-release of uh, Chain of Memories, I guess. Wait, wait, wasn't Coded a mobile game? Is Coded the Game Boy Advance game? I think game? Coded was like a mobile game that came out for like... He's saying and... yes. Yes to which question? There was 1,400 questions asked just now. Mobile game. But wait, you got... I also asked if I should quit this one and go play that one instead. So he could have said yes to that. Quit right now and go play Coded. All right, I'm going to listen to the stream, boys. No, wait, Shane. Shane just, just, just let this... Just, just let it go? Just let this play through first, though. Just let it go, okay. This song was stuck in my head for... Well, it's still stuck in my head. This is the Union best. Cross is the mobile game. Yeah, but Coded came out... It was like an 8-bit game for the phones. This is the best song ever. Dude, there's his boyfriend. He's like, yo, I want to fuck that guy. Their souls are kind of intertwined. <laughs> yeah, he's been inside that guy, and that guy's been inside him. No, technically the guys that are inside of both of them have been inside of each other. Oh. Yeah. So it's like on a whole different level of gay. I guess. <laughs> and said, and said, don't I... get me wrong, I love you. Okay. Can I go play your father? When we are older, you'll love. Can I go play the other game now? I said when I said no. Oh no! You're gonna have to literally exit out of the entire game and go back. Well, I like this. I like this screen. (laughs) I like. Can you screenshot this right now on your computer, please? I can. Yeah. Please. Let's fucking do it. And send it to me. I want that to be my icon. I want this to be the thumbnail. What's the screenshot button? Settings. Hotkeys. Are you? Yankee Doodle. Oh, uh, fuck. I don't know what the screenshot button is. There's no screenshot button. Fuck. Oh, well. Eh. I pull it later. Yeah, pull it it's later. Fine. This one will get. It. This is this is the best. This is the best screen though. Oh wait, no, that one is. Guys, oh, this, this entire fucking oh, cinematic is ludicrous. It has some great visuals. Okay, let's let's just. Uh... <laughs> almost almost hit root <laughs> remove disc. All right, let's close that off. Let's load it back up. Now I've never played coded. And I don't know anything about coded except for the fact that it's. A game. Simple and clean is gay. Fuck you. Elijah just Though says I everything. like Sanctuary a lot more, but Simple and Clean simply has... Was that s- the song I was playing just there? Yeah. The best version of Simple How and Clean is when Utada is uh, playing it and singing it with a guy playing acoustic guitar in the background. You know which video I'm talking about. If you look it up, you'll find her singing it live. It's fucking awesome. Alright, so we're playing Coded first? I guess. Let's go right. with Coded. Start playing Kingdom Hearts who Coded you. But the best one for the most hardcore players is Birth by Sleep. Are you seeing hardcore player boys? Birth by Sleep is the most fun game I've ever played. Because it doesn't have just one story mode or two, it has three. Are you saying that there's a this game uses an autosave feature, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I wish they had it. I can't tell you how many times <gasps> my little brother Can I skip through the whole game? Can we just skip to the end? Holy fuck! <laughs> this is a lot of chapters. What the hell? Okay, just press back and let's just click start. Is this a cinematic way? Where's the fucking box? Over there where you put it? I think this is a fucking... He's trying to trick us into watching the cinematic for cinematic boys. Yeah, this is just HD remastered cinematics. So do you want to understand the stories? I don't want to watch the show. Oh, he might have lied. <laughs> okay. Damn it. You're making this a waste of the time, though. Cause, oh, wait. No, you hit back. Yeah. Ha-ha! So, I've done it! So do you want to actually play the Kingdom Hearts 1? Okay. Is there a way to skip that fucking opening scene? No. Oh, but in Kingdom God. Hearts 2, you can skip cutscenes. And this one, you can't. I can tell you this right now. 
If you die on a boss and there's a cutscene before, you have to watch. You said Coded is the worst game. Fuck you. You have to watch every fucking cutscene again. And there's a cutscene before every boss. Oh, there's no load data. Fuck. Were we playing on beginner? That's right. Beginner? Manual. You are given a whole bunch of fucking awesome items at the beginning. What well, proud you're given a lot more experience. So which one's gonna like give you to the end faster? Do I you would... have to grind it all in this game? No. Not, not really. playing on like if I play on normal, do I have to grind? No, not really, because okay, every yeah. time you go through an area and you, and you go back into it, all the monsters respawn every time. So you have to fight your way through it, so you just kind of auto-grind, I guess you could say. I don't know what that means. Like, moving through the area, you have to grind. I'm pushing all the buttons. I can tell you, Shane, you cannot skip it. God damn and it. if we do get to this point in it, all I'm going to say is, you're never taking Kyrie's heart! I don't know what that means. You're is. never taking Kyrie's heart. I don't know Elijah what knows what I'm talking about. Elijah. You're never taking Kyrie's heart. I feel like that has like some kind of meaning. Oh, it has a lot of meaning. To somebody who doesn't care about anything in the real world. No, it has a lot. it'll have a lot of meaning to you. You know, I told. Can I play this game with a sandwich in my mouth? Yeah. This no. Oh, this is like an entire three minute long song. You have plenty of time to make a sandwich right now, Shane. I'm not gonna make a sandwich. I already had a sandwich. I didn't even touch mine from earlier. Oh shit! I just remind that just remind me I have myself a freaking chicken wrap. You got a wrapo chicken out? Uh, Elijah says, "Hey, Gabe, yeah. Kingdom Hearts is is light." I don't know what that means. He says it's light. I don't. I don't know what that means. Ah, some kind of Spanish, I think, right? Oh yeah, let me just fucking do all the foil right here next to the microphone. Kingdom Hearts is light Turner. Light Turner was an average kid who didn't like his dad. He was a douchebag cop that couldn't save his mom. Cause he's a shitty lad. Deep inside of his damn room, he met a demon named. What's the name of the demon? Ryuk. Ryuk. Then Ryuk raped him. Oh. And I would go farther, but I love this song so much. I'm gonna be quiet. Is that Sora falling from space? Mm-hmm. Why though? This opening cinematic has no fucking meaning. Period. So is it just supposed to be visually, like, stimulating? I guess. Or it's the beginning of the tutorial slash dream sequence. The first Kingdom Hearts really has almost zero connection to the rest of the series. Mm-hmm. I was really trying to persuade you not to play Except it. Except for Ansem. I don't know what that means. I can, <coughs> I think I can explain to you the all that you need to know to play the following games and maybe two paragraphs. You tried to explain this to me before. No, no, no. I can explain to you, or I can give you a full synopsis of the first game on what's relevant. Can anybody actually explain the plot of this game, though? I can explain the plot thoroughly, to where it makes sense. Yeah. Let me go get a pen and a piece of paper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm gonna go get a pen and a piece of paper. I'm kidding. Fine. Were you just gonna draw a big dick on the piece of paper? No. I was gonna have to write down Ansem 1, Ansem 2, Ansem 3. Then I was gonna have to write down Sora 1 and Sora 2. Uh, Roxas, Ventus, and then Vanitas. And then I was going to have to write Riku in the center. To, and I had to explain to you all the soul hole exchanges. <laughs> soul hole. There was so many soul holes. Soul hole. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's you got to pay the troll toll to get in this boy's soul hole. <gasps> yeah. 
Mmm. So, this is pretty self-explanatory. Whichever one you pick right now gives you a buff in that specific stat. So, obviously, get that one, right? You would think, but the combat's so baby easy, I would get the shield. If it's baby easy, why would I get the shield? Because the com or hitting people is easy, getting hit is even easier. Because you will get the shit fucked out of you when people hit you. Mm. And magic is kind of important, I guess. I would sacrifice... So, here, you grab the shield, you get a buff in defense. And then you beat people up with your sword later. Your key blade. Mm -hmm. Also, that's going to be your just weapon. Just pick for... the sword and the shield. Alright, let me just pick both. If you pick this one you pick, you'll sacrifice it. Let me get rid of the fucking Majiko. Oh no, magic is fucking killer. And plus you'll need it for cure later, and this is gonna... Isn't Donald Duck the fucking guy? Donald Duck is the worst fucking mage and the worst fucking healer ever. I kick him out of my team every time. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him, Elijah, right now. Tell me, Elijah, what should I do? You know what, Donald... Should I know here? Okay, hold on, I'm holding. I'm in a holding pattern right now. Here's Just what... unravel this other statement. Let me tell you something. This is what Donald does. He doesn't heal you until after you've healed yourself already. <laughs> don't listen to Gabe. <laughs> he said, don't listen to Gabe. I played Except this. about Donald. <laughs> Apparently you are 100% spot on with Donald. Donald is trash. I can't even see it from here, and I know that's what he said. <laughs> because Donald is the worst fucking healer ever. While Goofy is probably the best tank, you have some control over their AI. If you set Donald to where he can use healing items and healing spells freely, mm -hmm. he uses all of them up before it's even remotely useful for him to use it. <laughs> if you set it to never, or to rarely, he'll never use them. And if you set it in, to the in the middle area... Wait, can I go back? Can I... Can I pick the sword instead of the Don't. shield? The sword doesn't matter. Did you put on baby easy mode? No, we're on normal. Oh, okay. Because on baby easy mode, you're given five strength buffs, or permanent strength buffs, and ten defense buffs at the very beginning of the game. And you're given a ribbon. What if I jump back up on the thing? Shane, I've spent hours playing around in this tutorial. There's nothing else you can do. Oh, you said yes, you can. How do I do it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. At the end, you can say, is this your final choice? So just jump up oh, there, okay. press OK, and then press No. Yeah. I forgot. I thought there was like a... I'm an idiot. Mm. Give up this power. You've chosen the power of the Guardian. You've given up the power of the Mystic. Is this the form you choose? Nope. Maybe not. <laughs> choose carefully. Which form will you buy home? Careful, tongue butthole. Mm -hmm. Power of the warrior. All right, I mean, fucking yes. Oh, just get used to this. Yes, tutorial. yes me up. Just get used to this tutorial, Shane. Because after this, I think you're gonna have a brief battle and then a full tutorial summary of how. Can I play this game with one hand? For now, you can. You're gonna have a boss battle, but after that, you're gonna have a personality quiz. Oh God damn it! Are you serious right now? Kinda. It's only are they, three are they fucking? Are they asking me about like what kind of job I'm gonna get? No. But like the personality quiz affects the um, level up path that you can have. It affects how soon you'll get uh, scan. Oh yeah, scan is an ability that you get in this game. Scan is an ability you get in every Final Fantasy game. Yeah, but you don't have it in the beginning. You have to unlock it, and you don't unlock until like level eight. So you have no idea what health any fucking creature is. So you just have to bash them blindly okay. and hope for the best. <laughs> Am I going to fly up her dress? No. No. Damn. Mm. The personality test affects the EXP gain. Oh yeah, it does. Like it'll say, um, you're going to start at midday. Means that you're going to get medium experience. If it says you start... Uh, in early morning, you're going to get really, really good and quick leveling up. And if it says you start at dusk, then... Yeah, it's going to make it harder on you. 
I played with it saying you're going to start at dusk just for funsies. <sighs> but, oh no, I gotta fight the little goblin guys. Mm -hmm. mm. What up, bro? Beating your ass with one hand. And I'm gonna say this right I here did. now. Elijah, I don't know what your preference is. Do you prefer to start with the Alice in Wonderland world or the Tarzan world? And don't say Olympus because nobody, or Olympus you can't even make any progress in, so it doesn't even count. Uh oh. That's right. Because in Alice, you can actually get to oh, a fuck. fucking boss battle without having to just run into every goddamn fucking room 29 times hoping for a cutscene to happen. Shit. I can lock onto a specific guy with R1. Tarzan is harder than all the Dark Souls games together. It took me about a good 10 minutes to What's a dope get my girlfriend through here. Oh, you have to... So you... Uh, in is a few it, minutes, it'll explain to you that you obtain AP and no, you're no, able to is, equip skills. Is there a, uh, a combo thing where the, my directional inputs matter? Or is it just X's? Uh, the whole thing. X, mostly. It becomes a lot cooler in later games. Like, if you cast a fire spell, then you attack and you complete a combo, you'll gain a uh, stand. But now you'll gain, like, the ability to fucking... Like, go into a fire form where all your attacks have a fire input, but in this one, not really. Got it. You do obtain things called, like, Combo Plus and Air Combo Plus. And when you use those, you're able to attack more in the air and have better combos at the end. And I you can't get open. finishing moves. Hmm. You will never, ever, ever open that door. Well, but that treasure chest, though. Yep, there is an item in there. Hi. Uh, Potion. What does that say? The personality quiz decides if you hit level 50 fast and then level to 100 slow or vice versa. Or if you earn equal XP through the game. Yeah. If you start at midday, it's equal through the entire game. Do you want me to get you the key for this personality quiz? Alright, I did. I jumped over the door. Oh, shit. Change. you jump over the door, you gain OP powers. My dad told me he works for Nintendo. Destroying items gets you items. He told me I'd never be able to open this door. This is fucking Donkey Kong barrel, man. Oh, sorry. You won't be able to open up the real version of the door, not in this dreamscape. Where did my Donkey Kong barrel go? God dang it. <laughs> Who's Donkey Kong? Man. Dude, I will put it in you, like DMX. You notice that there's dicks on that door? Yeah. I didn't notice that until a month ago. There's huge dicks on everything as a game. Mm hmm. Just like me. I guess. My dick is so hard for this game. Is it? Is it? Welcome to Personality Quiz. Hold on! The door won't open just yet. First, tell me more about yourself. Oh, uh, I like long walks on the beach. Um, I like to touch my own butthole sometimes. And uh, I like to scrape <coughs> the, the crusty jism off of the chair when I'm done and uh, put it in my breakfast. Press the touchpad button first Kingdom person Hearts view. one personality quiz key. Mm. Like, all these questions are kind of nonsensical. Why does the right stick not move the camera when you're in oh, first Oh, when you're in first person mode, that's just for you to look around. I know, but why does the right stick not move the camera? It doesn't. That that would be the button or the stick for camera movement, would it not? No. No? What does this do right now? What the hell? What the fuck am I doing right now with the right stick? Does the left stick move it when you're in first person mode? Yes. You're never going to use first person mode, so don't worry about it. But I want to look up her skirt. That's uh, Riku. That's Selfie. No. From Final Fantasy VIII. No, she has swirly eyes. But no, it is selfie. You stupid bastard. <clears throat> what up, girl? Behind you is Waka. Grand, Grand Wizard Waka? Yes, Grand Wizard Waka as a mm -hmm. boy. 
and uh, fucking what is what is most important to me? Friendship. Damn it! You're not helping me, Gabe. I'm trying to figure this out. I typed in Gr Grand Wizard Waka. Don't type in Grand Wizard Waka. <laughs> Walk through. Elijah, tell me what to pick. Is friendship, is the power of friendship and karate for everyone? Is that the real answer? My little sister does that. The <clears throat> day man. Oh! Though she does not understand it, which is kind of hard. Fighter of the night man. Oh! Champion of friendship and karate for everyone. Gay man. That's, that's exactly wrong. It's champion... Of karate. So, which one? And friendship. Which thing did you sacrifice at the beginning? Um, I sacrificed the magic. So, keep and sword. And I picked the sword. Sacrifice magic. You're going to start out with Big very low o AP. You're only going to have one AP, six strength, two defense, two magic points, and 18 health points. So, let's see. Well, I just says pick number one. Taking the first ones result in fast pace, and the third ones correspond to slow pace. Second ones in a medium pace. So first one all the time. Yep. Got and it. I should say you're going to start in mid morning or something like that. Cool. And after this, you're going to go into a boss. What up, Grain Wizard? I want to see the the rare sites. Why is Titus here? I'm afraid of getting old. Oh, you'll have the opportunity to fight all three of them. You want to be number one, you want to see rare sights, and you're afraid of getting old. It sounds like every character. Every fucking teenage angst character in the world. You're essentially Naruto in this game. Shit, dude, I can't wait. It begins at dawn. Is that what is that what I wanted? Yeah. Because at level 50, you're kind of already OP anyway. I Except mean, for... do you need to be higher than level 50 to beat the game? It definitely helps. Because the final boss... Riku will probably own you. Who the fuck is Riku? I didn't even see mm -hmm. Riku there. Elisha, are are you ever taking Kyrie's heart? Are you... Will you never take Kyrie's heart? I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. There is this one very specific boss battle that will beat <clears throat> your cock off. Can I, can I use the sword the whole game? Or do I have to get stuck with that keyblade? You get stuck with the keyblade, but you get different keychains, which give it different buffs and skins. Do I have to pick up this green shit on the ground? That is health point orbs. Oh, okay. Yes. While the money orbs are what's yellow... The, what's the fucking dodge roll button? You don't obtain dodge roll until you beat the first boss. And you have high AP. I mean, I think it takes like 3 AP. Dude, I just fucking blowed those guys up, girl. Eat asshole, my man. I did it. I'll probably get owned by both versions of Riku. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that means. Wait for the race. Wait for the fucking race, Shane. The race wars? No. Hmm. Elijah, have you ever won the race? Press triangle to open the menu. Let's do it. I'm sorry, I, I wanna. I'm pulling up this, but I'm stuck watching a 30 second ad. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but have you beat him on the first try okay, to where he is forced to name the ship what you want it to be? Got it. I did it. <clears throat> because every time I try, I can't do it. Do 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 do. The visuals are pretty good. Do 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 do. Yeah, it runs really smooth. Your balls dropped five feet when you did. Well, damn, I need to try and do that. I got my girlfriend to play this, and she was so fucking mad she couldn't beat Riku, because it's so much bullshit. So what's the square button do? Um, that will be used for dodge roll once you unlock it. Oh, cool. When do I do that again? You're going to unlock it after you oh. defeat... Oh, no, Shadow Link! Mm -mm. Let me fight Shadow Link real quick. Don't be afraid. I'm just Shadow Zora Link Man. Sora. Ah, yeah. don't forget, I'm Medusa! It's still not half as dumb as Dream Drop Distance. Ugh. God, I, I still can't beat Dream Drop Distance. It's fucking dumb. Oh, man, look at this giant boss I have to fight. 
Yeah. Cool. Okay, aim for his hands, lock onto his hands, and when he's doing that, stay away from his hand. When he hits the ground, it'll hurt. And he's going to start summoning little um, shadows. Oh, you can't, can't hit I anything can't. but his hands and his face. And those little guys are punk-ass bitches. Ow. Now, when he spreads his arms out and p pushes his chest into the air, uh, he's going to start shooting out like little tendrils of fucking evil destruction beam or orbs. Those Destructo wave! Yeah. Right now. I would just try your best to dodge those. What? Am, oh, God. Yeah. They hurt. But the best way to dodge them is while hitting him, from what I've experienced. You might get hit once or twice, but it's not half as bad as standing still. Oh, God. And hitting an attack w right when they hit you, uh, I guess, reflects it back. It gives you technical XP. Are you and saying I get a counter? Fun. Sweet yeah. ass counter for counter boys? Yeah, counters give you pretty good XP. Yeah, Dark Side's a fucking weakling. This is Dark Side. But eh, I can't jump up to his hand. Oh, you can hit that hand while it's on the ground. Oh, but you said it, it did bad stuff. No, it's summoning those guys, but they oh. can't hurt you. No, really. but you, you said he does bad things on the ground. Yeah, avoid it when he hits the ground. Oh, so the, the goo, the actual goo itself is not bad. Yeah, the goo itself's not bad, just once he initially hits the ground. You're gonna have to fight him one more time, so... This is important stuff. Okay. Ah. Come on, man. Give me that hand. Does it ever explain to you what the hell Darkseid is and why he's on Destiny's Island? Since you've watched Coded? See, wouldn't it be so much more helpful if you knew how much health he had right now? No, not really. You got 18 XP. Is that a lot? But when you fight... It seems like a lot to me! When you fight Waka and... Uh, Flocka? Yeah, Waka, Flocka, Flame, Sophie, and uh, Timmy Turner. When do I get that weapon? The, the one, the fork that was on the ground there. The mm -hmm. fabled fork blade! <laughs> just just straight up, it. straight up, give me a fork, dude. I'm gonna put it in. But you do get a, you do go to that world, the Beauty and the Beast world. With, yeah. <clears throat> but that's near the end of the game. So don't forget. What am I not forgetting here? You are the one that will open the door. Shit, dude! I'm gonna open the door. Mm-hmm. Better than being the one who holds the door. Hold the door! Hold the door! Oh, man. Hold the door! Welcome to Kingdom Hearts. That is the reason for so many AMVs to Linkin Park music. What, where he, where he says, cut my life into pieces, this is my last resort? No. Suffocation note. That's my favorite Linkin Park song. Whoa! Whoa! What he Whoa! Said? He's talking about huge black things. No, there's no black people in Kingdom Hearts. It's okay. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Ansem is black for a short period of time. <laughs> wait, what? He can, is he Michael Jackson? Is he Shane? Essentially, like, he's like, I'm gonna turn white. It's, it's the only way I can win. Like, this makes no sense. In the second uh. game, he's. Like, has his face covered up halfway with a bandage, and his jaw is black. Alright, like, straight up, like, brown, like he's African-American. When he takes it off, he's a white man with blonde hair. It makes no sense. Oh. But it's, it's, it's just a shadow. No. I'd like to see all the worlds! Oh, Wait. man, I'm hungry! Do you know who plays the voice of Sora? Um, the guy. I believe it's Jesse McCartney. Who's this guy? That's Riku. Riku's a girl, though. No, it's not. Sorry, Haley Joel Olsen plays uh, Sora. <clears throat> and Hayden Panettiere plays Kyrie. Jesse McCartney plays Roxas. Okay. I don't know who Jesse McCartney is. No, oh, he was a big pop singer back in the early 2000s. Oh, was he? Okay. Yeah. 
He had like a few big hits. <laughs> Why does she laugh like she's retarded? Oh yeah. This is <laughs> The, the beginning. They straight up get Hayden. They're like, Hayden, please just like sound like you're borderline fucking daddy. She was, this was like five or six years before Heroes even came out, bro. Really? Yeah, this came out in 2001, I believe. And Heroes came out in like 2003. When did Heroes come out? I thought it was 2006. 2008. Damn. No way, dude. Oh, wait. In the fall of 2008, they released online content. God damn it. It, like, gives you not the answer. You can gather supplies. It, okay. It premiered on uh, in t- September 25th, 2006. Mm. I got two logs, one cloth, one rope. How old is Hannah Panettiere? Oh, she's fucking, like, 26 right now. 28. Damn, that was close. I got a log! So this was 16 years ago. She was 12. Dude, why is Waka here? Hey, what's uh, oh my god! What? Oh, he doesn't do it again! <laughs> what were you oh my god about? He's voice actor! What up, bruh? If you hit the ball back at Damn. him, you get a technical XP. When he jumps into the air... Fucking run because that will hit so hard and kill your ass. Yeah, so okay. Just watch out. Hitting the ball back doesn't hurt him though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Run. Yeah. That ball will fucking kill you instantly when he jumps in the air. That little girl over there though is the easiest kill you'll get in the entire game. All she does is throw a fucking jump rope at you. How can he do that when I'm beating his ass? This man is cheating. Cheating? Oh. Rootin' tootin' pootin'. Wouldn't it be so good for you to have an HP gauge right here for him? Run. Oh, I was trying to jump. Hi, Finn! You know how much, you know what your reward is for defeating him, though? What? One. One XP. Can one I fight him infinitely? Yes. Okay. But I did that, I was able to gain up to, like, level three, I think, from fighting them. You're able to fight him, Sufi or whatever, and... Sufi! <laughs> You can fight souffle. Yeah. But I, I want to hit triangle to jump, but it's not triangle. What? Oh, yeah, it's circle. It's circle. Yeah. And how come he can attack while I'm a- attacking him? Like, what's the fucking cheap shit You just about gotta that? learn his pattern. Okay. What's worse is when you hit him when he's doing a spin attack, you don't get any technical XP. I try to, like, stay at bay from him and hit all of his attacks back at him to gain more XP since he's worth so little. So there's no point. There's literally no point in me trying to fight him, right? Yeah, because after you're done with this big old tutorial city up bullshit, there's a section where like 400 of those little shadow guys are on the ground, and you can fight them, or you can fight about like 800 of them. They'll just keep spawning until you defeat like 800. It's good for like a level or two, I think. Now you can fight Riku, and Riku's worth a lot more experience. I think he's worth at least like six. Oh my, this dude is cheating. He's like, oh, let me just fucking immediately stop you from being able to do damage. What did uh, Lord Cuck over there say? I don't know, man. You don't need scan, that's what he said. What up, I girl? said it's good to have scan. It's a lot more <clears throat> better than things. Want to duel? Duel! How do you make this bigger? You don't. Ow. You literally don't, game. There's no bigger. It, uh, Gabe, st- stop. There. I got a tech point, man, because I, I deflected her gay attack. Yeah. How? Are you cool with spoilers, or do you actually care about any plot? What plot is there in this game? Or... Making the progression by yourself is more, more or uh, less one. Dude, to... I'm on stream. Everything is spoilable. Okay. At this point, some random guy could come in here and spoil my stream. Well, if you want any hints to go to the next area, ask me. Oh my god. Why does she have. I have an autistic level of knowledge about this. An autistic? And no, extistic. Like, X gonna give it to you. Uh, okay, I'm done with this. So I got like <sighs> 1P for that. Yeah. Is there a sprint button? Fuck. No. Let's see. Let's go to config, please. Um, camera. 
Um, let's see. I want to change that to a bird. There we go. Ah, oh, circle. Just forgetting the buttons for a second. Can I go in? Oh, I can go in buildings! Look how fucking upgraded this shit is! Holy, oh my god, there's a save point! Everybody wants to be Ansem, and everybody else is Sora. That's the best way to describe this game. Like, okay. I'm not kidding. This entire game was like, who has my soul and is throwing it into their boy hole? So you put boy holes in boy souls for boy hole souls. Yes, boy hole souls. Dude, I'm gonna smash that barrel right there. You can smash that barrel. Yeah! Blah! Though smashing it is a poor decision because you can use it to get into a secret area over there later. Over here? But it does respawn, so who gives a fuck? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna climb up this stairway right here. Mm -hmm. This is the stairway to heaven. Elijah just explained all of Kingdom Hearts in three sentences. Oh. So... Everybody wants to be Ansem, and everybody else is Sora. How do I... That's all of Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I obtained the cloth. Can you not fuck with that next to the microphone, though? Or, the, or anything next to the microphone at this point. Six here. beloved journeys remastered in high definition. I found a rope. Yep. You're actually kind of completing the first quest without even obtaining it. I I, think I've you're... already got the quest. She told me to get the fucking thing. Oh, you already talked to... What's her name? Yeah. Dilha. Talk to her right at the start. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I already know what to grab, so I just usually don't care much. Hell, this little fucking dude. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. But that's a big thing in this game. It's like 50%, or sorry, it's more like 75% Disney and 30% Kingdom Hearts. And then like 2% Final Man, Fantasy. it must be nice to have that dodge roll, you motherfucker. You obtain it from leveling up one more time, I believe. So you got, you're saying I gotta beat his fucking ass. I got two tech XP's, bro. Yeah, tech XP is the only way to level up right now. Oh. Oh, he got exhausted. Beat his ass. Doesn't piss you off that you don't get tech XP for hitting that back? There you go. <laughs> I think you may already have some sort of abilities, though. I got a strength up and I got two P's, bro. Two P's. Yeah. Gabe, what was that math? It's Kingdom Hearts math, because three souls equal five in this game. But five, press pause two, and then... Two soul, five me? Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, missing one more log. Um, is it over there with Riku? Yeah, it is. But I think you... Do you start out with dodge roll? There, old boy. I don't have dodge roll oh, right now. Oh, well, go to abilities. Ability attack. Down. Sora. No, you don't. No, no ability. I think you do start out with it when you play on baby mode, though. Oh, when I play on super easy mode for easy boys? <sighs> mm hmm Probably should have did that. You never taken Kari's heart? I, I don't even know what fucking Kari is. There's a log! Let me grab it. You're never taking Bukaki's heart. I obtained log. One log boy. What's down here? There's secrets? No. Well, there's a fish around here you'll have to collect later. <sighs> Come on, man. Tell, just tell me the short way. You're done. You just go talk to Kyrie now. What about this guy? He'll want to fight you. Okay. Oh, I fight him over here? Yeah. Oh, he's he's going to suck. All right. So hit, 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 then run away. Just hit, hit, and run away. That's all I'm going to tell you. And he does have a charge attack where he can jump at you from the other side of the fucking screen. And it's so dirt nasty, he, like, takes half your fucking health. That right there! That right there. When he's on his back, you fucking move. Just run. Get away. Ugh. I'm having some PTSD right now. Yeah, dude, I'm giving up already. Okay. Oh, if you just attack while he's getting up, it stops it. 
Oh. Oh, you can fall. You can fall off. You can fall off. Now score zero to one. <clears throat> you can fall off. Mm -hmm. Do you get anything for fighting this guy? I don't remember. All I remember is I hate him so much at the beginning of this game. Is he like the villain? Everybody's Ansem and everybody else is Sora. <laughs> okay, so he's the villain. Got it. Can I knock him Ansem off? Ansem isn't really the bad guy. <laughs> he's actually a good guy, but there are like three fake Ansems that say they're Ansem, but they're actually not Ansem. They're Zimnus. I don't know what that means. Every fourth hit, he'll do the back jump. Oh, there's a coconut on the ground. You need a ripe coconut for the next quest tomorrow. What do I do with these coconuts? Put them inside your coca hole. Yes, dude, I am giving up already. Mm -hmm. I can't, I couldn't see! Because the camera sucks. <clears throat> I can't even move the camera. You're never taking Kyrie's heart. I don't know what that means! Stop saying that! All right, baby. That sounds like a Zaya hoot. Ah! Uh -huh. God damn it, I've got a pinch of the health left. I guarantee you, you will die from him doing that foot jump thing at you. Holy titties. Go fuck yourself. You fucking won. I did it. But now the score's one to one. I, it, okay, if I knew you could fall off that thing, I would not have lost that first fucking round. Yeah, this but... game's fucking bullshit. It's a lie. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, welcome to the fandom, Shane. I'm not even a fan. Neither am I. No, shut your fucking whore mouth. You fucking love this game. No, I don't like this game. All right, so I did. How, how do I get the coconuts? No, that's for tomorrow's quest. You can't. Oh, obtain. so I literally don't do anything. Yeah, you got to go and just talk to old. Kyle. All right, what up, girl? Shit, there's parkour in this? The parkour sucks. Look back in the chat, Shane. You don't want to be a fan. It's true, I don't. I just found something. I found a high potion! Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go home, girl. Let me take you home. Mm -hmm. The first three worlds are so confusing. That's all I'm going to say. So, who, which one of these is Kyrie? Kyrie's the girl. That's Kyrie? Yes. The one on the right? Yes. That one? That's Riku. Yeah, that's so, that's Riku? No, that's. Uh, that's Ansem. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. You're already starting to get the, the hang of it. No, I'm not. I'm telling the first you. three worlds are garbage. And they're so difficult to navigate, but after that... I like how you're like, man, the series is great, but the first three things at the very start of the game I'm are trying trash. to tell you not to play this, but you're like, I'm going to start with the first one. All worlds are actually meaningless except for Hollow Bastion and the end of the world. Yeah. Hollow Bastion has... So you're telling me that I was justly giving up on this game because it's bad. No, well, it's not bad. You it's literally confusing. just said the entirety of the start of the game is worthless and meaningless. No, the first three levels are confusing. I said that. No, you also said they were bad. Yeah, they're bad. They're poorly designed. So but I was right to give up on the game because the start of the game is bad. It's really rewarding. Is it, though? If when it's you bad? get through, the, through those first three worlds, and mind you, Allison, or Wonderland is not that bad. It's not the worst out of them. It's the best out of them. It's the best place to level before you go to fucking uh, the jungle. Welcome to the jungle! We got the funny games! But there's... Oh, important story progression. This Where? is the last bit you're going to get. He just got a star? Is That's a fucking point. Mario? That's a pal poo fruit. Is this fucking Mario? Yes. He just got a fucking power up. He's, dude, he's invincible right now while holding that. Mm -hmm. He can't take any fucking damage. Here's something that's going <clears> to <throat> piss you off even more. If you are an actual fan of this game, this game 
the main story titles are all over the place console wise. Like in chronological order, it goes PlayStation 2, Game Boy Advance, then it goes to mobile, then to PS2 again. That looks awful. Then to three or then to DS. Well, shit, it's, it's Grand Wizard Donald. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, if you have Donald set to just use offensive spells, he's going to burn it out, and his melee attacks are garbage. Can I just set him to balanced? Yeah, if you set him to balanced, he'll survive all right. Can but, I tell him to attack? Can I micromanage? Oh, yeah, definitely. You can, or, well, no, no, you can't tell him to attack, but you can set up his AI to uh, frequent, oh, God, non-frequent. Oh, dog. Why can't this be Daffy instead? Why can't it be Huey, Dewey, and Louie? <laughs> I would be okay with that, too, actually. After this, do you want to watch the new DuckTales? No, I don't. Why not? No. Why? No, I don't like DuckTales. <laughs> fucking Scrooge McDuckie on my face, dude. You're, you're fucking with me. Did you like Darkwing Duck, at least? Dude, Darkwing Duck's a bitch. You can keep dropping your phone all fucking day. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I like how there's just King Goofy just laying around. No, he's a Knigget. What? Knigget. Gabe, you need to stop being so racially insensitive. He's half black. Okay. He's he mostly just... black. You've never seen it without his pants on. Jesus Christ, I hate Donald so much. What? A lot of this game isn't voiced. But the voice doesn't bother Who the me. fuck is Daisy? That's his girlfriend. Who's girlfriend? Donald. Oh. There's Donald, Daisy, and Goofy's girlfriend like died in the 50s. That's why Max doesn't have a mom. Who's that duck? That's Daisy Duck. Oh. That's Goofy's girlfriend? So yeah, the last two worlds had the most story progression. And so meaning. they were the only ones with story progression. The, the Hollow Bastion has probably the best level design in this entire game. And it is rewarding as piss to go through. Alright, so what am I doing now? Um, Going to find Kyrie? And, so and the door Kyrie hey. was in front of, you can go through now. Okay, what does that do you? Well, first things first, you find Kyrie, and she's going to be like, find all these items. And then you find she the items. store? Mm-hmm. But part of it, you're going to have to talk to Riku and all race right, hey, him. Hey, Kyrie, what's up? You can name the raft. Why can't I name the raft? Hmm? Why do I get to name the raft? Because you want to be, you want to be part captain. Or you want to be captain. I'm just going to name Excalibur. My girlfriend named it... Mostly just because I didn't want to fuck with that keybird. The keybird. The keybird? The keybird. It was bad keybird. Hmm? All the letters and stuff. Bad keybird. Elijah is going to be so mad at you. Name it something good. Excalibur. Hey, how about... My girlfriend named it the N-word cucks. That's why I want to marry that woman. Okay, so, quick thing. I kind of wish I would have told you how to go through here in the beginning. Okay. The second platform you jump on, there's a fake platform. They had cheese in my mustache. Shane, you're going to get so mad, and you're going to go through this at least two or three times trying to beat him. So I'm trying to give you some tips right now. Okay. Okay. They had cheese in my mustache. So second okay. brown platform, there's a fake plank at the end that if you touch it, you'll fall off on. Jump over that shit. If you climb to the top of that tower and you want to use the zip line, you jump. And you let go of every button, because if you move any button, you're going to fall off the zip line like a fucking shitlord. If Riku hits the zip line before you, you're fucked, and he's going to win. <laughs> no, I've turned her into a racist bigot. Can I hit him? No. Oh, that right there? Yeah. I, hit, I hit the jump button. Yeah. Triangles jump, right? Circles jump. Yeah. How do I restart? You can't. Do I have to reload the game? No. Oh. But he's going to beat you, and there's no point of going up here because he just took the zip line all the way to the winning circle. Okay. And you can't get on the zip line, too. 
There's only one use. Oh, okay. You have to touch that star at the end. How many times did you go through this? Jumping in this game is atrocious. Oh, yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. He's not even there. No, oh, yeah, that's because he touched it, and then he's walking back. He's sauntering back because he... It's just like, fuck you. Oh, no, you can't go through there. Oh, no, no. Oh, wait, God, I hate So, wait, this. I gotta go back? Yep, you gotta go all the way back to Kyrie. And then he's gonna say, it's now named what I named it, and you fucking suck. Okay. What did he name it? He named it something that's not what you named it. Oh. Good, because that name sucked. Mm -hmm. I, do you remember the gummy battles, Shane? The what? The space battles. The what? The space battles in this game are garbage, but in the second game, they're an entire game of themselves. What do you name it? The High Wind? It's a way better name for way better boys. Well, since this happened, this, your starting spaceship is now going to be named the High Wind. What if I win this time? Nothing changes except for the score counter. Oh, okay. And you're going to beat a 2-2. Two to two. Jump. Beat him. There's a mushroom over there to the left. Okay, once you jump, let go of everything. Or you fall off. Well, now he can't use it. Yeah, well, he's already halfway to the winning circle. Get ready to fall off a pine tree. Oh, damn. Good go, Shane. Fuck. Oh, you can't jump back on top of it. What? Nope. And jumping over here... This ledge to the left, you're going to... Oh, no, not there. Over there. You're going to have a fun time trying to get up there. Oh, okay, never mind. Do I win, though, because I touched the thing first? No, you have to get back to Kyrie first. Oh, I thought it was just whoever touches the thing first. Nope. He's walking. Yeah, to, like, a big fuck you. <sighs> Do you care about beating him? Not really, no. Well, Kyrie's at the very end of that area where... It looks God like damn work. it! Why are we playing this? This is painful to my I, asshole. I told you we should have started with Birth by Sleep, which is the best game with the funnest combat and the most convoluted of the stories. I found a mushroom. Because that's the story that explains to you whose soul is in whose holes. Who's got soul holes? Whole soul. So the... I did it. Smoosh the box. Smash the beetles? Smash the beetles! Smash them! No, wait. You're saying Birth by Sleep is not the best, Elijah? What's the best game? Please tell me which one has the best combat and the most interesting story. Final Fantasy VIII. 3D is not. 3D is fucking trash. It has garbage combat. Oh, push you don't even have any real fucking... Uh, companions. You have the stupid fucking bullshit pet things and the stupid pet board. I gotta get some drinking water. Mm -hmm. But it can't be salty. Speaking of salty, man, I gotta say, the fucking water in Belize is salty as piss. So I gotta find a ripe coconut? Yeah, you just gotta beat a tree until it drops a green coconut. Oh, okay. How is 3D the best? There it is. I found Coco. Please tell me how Dream Drop Distance is the best. How? It doesn't have the worst magic system, Elisha. Shut up. You don't know anything. Are you telling our one viewer that he's stupid? I'm telling him that he's wrong. He's saying the magic system sucks. How does it suck that you can take fire and combine it with another fire spell and get you fire right? And if you combine it with a fucking sword attack spell, or you get, like fire windmill attack it makes sense and it's fun and you have plenty of room to make cool ass commands what do i do with this thing right here if you jump in that water you'll get you'll beat the water task what do i do with this though oh you said it's for secrets oh yeah to jump into the area you just jumped out of that's just a sneak or a it's a shortcut yep to carry but you better be careful because if you throw it it'll fucking destroy it the drop system is fucking garbage. Can I not just jump from the from the coconut tree? Like climb How would you get up on top of the coconut tree? Like this? And then... Jump. 
Okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway. This game sucks. I'm, I'm bringing up so much childhood frustration. This game sucks. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got it. Okay, now go into that cave over there. You'll find another mushroom, I believe. I have two mushrooms already. Yeah, you need three. Which cave do I gotta go into? Oh, no, the other one behind there near the waterfall. There was a cave at the waterfall? Yeah, see? Right there. Oh, right there. <laughs> got it. Yeah. I was thinking behind the waterfall. What's so good about the drop system there, Elijah? I feel like he's over there just Secret typing out his keyboard. Well, you think BBS is good and you think drop system is bad? Explain to me what's good about the drop system. That I only have 45 seconds to play as either character before I'm taken out. Who the hell wants to play as two different characters? I don't... Oh, Jesus Christ. I have to, like, fucking... Welcome to the cutscene. Thank God. That means I get to stop playing. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. My girlfriend's gonna have sex with Riku. No. <clears throat> Riku has no genitalia. Oh, he's a Ken doll? No, he kind of just, like, stops being a man at a certain point. God, this looks... He's <laughs> trans handsome. These characters look fucking rough. What do you expect from a game from 2001? I mean, they went for a highly stylized fucking thing. So I kind of expect that... They look... look a lot better than they did on the PS2. I'm going to say that. I mean, I'm sure they do. Is he is he shooting his love star into her mouth? Who's there? Yeah, that's the... Uh... The palpu fruit that you saw earlier, the little star-shaped fruit, the legend on my own is if you share it with somebody, your souls become intertwined, and you can never be apart. What? Are you what? So he, He's saying stuff. Didn't you uh, praise BBS for letting you play as three different characters? Yeah, at a time. You don't have... So, in Dream Drop Distance, okay? Okay. You are forced, all right? You only have a very limited amount of time to switch between Sora and Riku. It switches between them. All right, and you can buy items that will increase the amount of time that you can play as each character. They level up individually, and they have their own individual stories. No correlation at all, except for how their... long is this cutscene? A few minutes. Press pause. I think Hold you might be able to try. skip it. No, yeah, no, 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 you just skip it. I gotta go change my laundry. Though. Okay. I just don't care about this game anymore right now. Jesus yeah. Christ. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck! Keep going, Talk about the game. Birth by sleep. Is so much better. Why can't you see it? You get to play as Ventus, then Aqua, then Terra, and then you get to play the final story. Each level progression is interesting, and they have their own individual moves and their own individual stories that intertwine and make sense instead of having some boring ass bullshit. Like, I quit every time I try to play Dream Drop Distance at the Tron level. Because it's so stupid and bad, it's not even like the good Tron level from Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, what the hell? Plus, it explains what the fuck Ansem is and why the hell Zimnus is everywhere. It's the best game. For best games. If you don't like it, I mean, that's fine. All I'm saying is you're wrong if you don't like it. Well, all I'm saying is your opinion's stupid, and I hate you, failure. Yeah. Oh, you're playing the game without me? What What happened? What did I miss? Uh, so the guy in there said, you're never going to open that door. I don't care. There's a seagull egg on top of one of the trees directly behind you. Oh, that one? Do I got to smash it? Uh, no, you have to climb the skinnier tree and jump on top of it. You can't knock it down by hitting it. I can? You cannot. Oh, I was hoping to break it, actually. You have a wooden sword. How would you do that? No, I was hoping to knock it down and break it. And kill the seagull embryo? Yeah. I wanted to fail the mission. Oh, there's no way to fail in this game. I mean, playing the game is failing. What else do I have to get? Is there like a thing that tells me? <laughs> I hope the fuck you're joking, Elijah. He says, 3DE introduces time travel, and time travel makes everything better. I mean, it's, it's pretty true. Okay, what do I need now? Uh, let's see. You got the three mushrooms. You got the water. You got coconut. And you got the single egg. I think you need one more coconut. And oh. you need to grab some fish. And I'll show you where the fish are at. There's another coconut. I got a coconut. And the fish, uh, they're really small and pink. And they run around or move around really fast. There's one in this water, I believe. And another got one it. in the other area. And I think it's over there to the left closer to the pier. 
Oh. Yeah. But you can move faster if you press circle in the water. You can do like a really fast swim kick. That right there. Oh, I is see it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I caught a fish. Yep, and that's the only fish in this area. The other one's in the next area. Oh, Grand Wizard Waka. I think it probably would have just been faster to go the other way. You'd this think... doesn't really feel like much of a shortcut. Well, when you jump through, you'll be able to instantly go to Kyrie instead of having to go through that whole obstacle course and walk through everything. Let's hope it's close enough. I can just push it. Does that make you a little mad? Just jump on top of it and try and jump up there. Yeah! Mm -hmm. To the cove! There we go. Now just Yo, go ahead and finger Kyrie's right asshole. Fish! There he is. No, that's starfish. There's so much Kingdom Hearts Rule 34, I'm just going to say that. Well, how do I get the starfish? No, you don't need a starfish. Well, what the fuck am I here for? A fish. There's another one of those fish that you just grabbed, and I think it's on the other side of this map. It's somewhere. Like, it, it swims around. Somewhere. Oh, there we go. That's, that's what I was talking about with that ledge earlier. If you're too close to it, you can't jump up. What is this? What is, okay, this box is back. If you turn around... There's a chest inside of there. It gives you a, I believe it's a protect bracelet, which increases your defense by one. Well, shit, dude. At this point, anything's better than nothing. Yep. And this is one of the fancy chests. You only see, like, 20 of these in the game. I got a protecto chain. Equipment. Sora. Chain protect. I did it, guys. Number one, right here. Shane, you are so much better at Kingdom Hearts than I am. I am just in absolute awe of your phenomenal abilities. Yeah. I will submit to you and say that you are the alpha in this group of friends. What's in here? You are the best oh, friend. nothing in there. Alright, cool. Where's this little fish at? Little <laughs> fish fucker, where are you at, man? Come get you! He's sometimes underneath that fucking oh, walk over there. That's, uh, that's another a fucking st starfish. Yeah. He's sometimes over here somewhere? Yeah, he's he's somewhere. Is that him right there? Just look around. No, that's a seashell. Though Kyrie has made up never mind. What? Nothing. What? I ain't gonna spoil it. So you're saying she's got the fish in between her legs? No, sir, that's gross. That's that, that's that's real gross! Man, I bet you'll find... I didn't even know I could swim right there. I bet you'll find all 101 Dalmatians. That's a mini game in this. How fucking far... Oh, okay. That's... Not... No, I was saying how far out could I swim. Oh, not very far at all. That's... Dude, that was pretty far. Oh, there's... Starfish. <laughs> Do I actually need a second fish, or are you just fucking with me? No, you need a second fish. I'm gonna go talk to Kyrie. What up, girl? I didn't pay attention to what you said earlier. Just like all women. There. See this? It's a charm. Keep us together. Weren't both fish on one side of the island? Oh, okay, you fucking just lied to me. Two fish, I'm counting on you. If there's two fish on one side of the island, I'm going to be as equally mad as Shane. But I thought it was on two different sides. You told me that there was one on each side. That's how I remember it, but... How I haven't <gasps> played this game. Is that him? It's a starfish. That's starfish. that's another. Star. <laughs> Maybe you should check the other side of the island. But I remember there's one that swims around underneath that little pier area. I don't see no fish. That's where my girlfriend caught it last time she played. What did she catch? A fish. Say bug. Hmm? Virus. What? What? You worry it's, me sometimes. It's an always sunny in Philadelphia reference. It's all right here. That could be our thing. What? We can only play games, but talk like we're characters from It's Always Sunny. I mean, I'd do that anyway. Shut up, Danny DeVito. Shut the fuck up. What's, your, what's Danny DeVito's character name, Frank? It's Danny DeVito. It's literally just him. I love Danny DeVito. I want him to he's, be inside he, of my ass. He's the number one man for number one boys. 
He's the number one man bear. Hey, look, fish. there's a fish right here. High five. You got it, Shane. High five. Yeah! It's the return of that shit, right, Shane? I bet your girlfriend knows the 3D is the best. Mm hmm. I wish you guys would call that something other than 3D. Can you not call it, like, DDD? I don't know what. That's or what, like triple D. That's what I call, just, I call it DDD, but I don't know why he's calling it 3D because that. I feel like that's probably but it the is, widely it accepted. It is in three name. dimensions. It's no, a, no, no. I I feel like 3 3D is the widely accepted name for it. I just want it to be DDD. Every forum I've ever read anything on calls it either Dream Drop Distance or DDD. 3D just sounds stupid to me, but I don't know. I like how it's like, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, no, I'm an even bigger idiot. Those are the two options right there. Oh, I'll choose biggest idiot. Okay, what do I do now? Hmm? Uh, tell her you're completely lost and figure out what you're missing. I'm totally clueless. Okay, let's break it down. I don't see any fish here. Try searching along the shore. Did you not catch any of the fish? Uh, you have to go into, uh... No. Uh... Yeah, let's... Yeah, go to stock. Well, it should be in there. Or, uh, maybe under... Equipment? Stats, maybe. How stats? Let's go to stats. Staten Island. I'm about to be real mad. Is there another fish somewhere? I missed it because I wasn't paying attention to the game. Mm -hmm. It's because you don't appreciate good games. I do. Name one good game that you appreciate. Uh, Ninja Gaiden, the original for the NES. I can tell you right now I'm not going to play that with you. It's a single player game, so it's a good thing I don't need you to play. I'm not going to stream it with you. I can't stream it. I don't have a connector for it. Yes, yeah, so. I I could just hook it up to my computer. I just fucking load up an emulator, though. I own the game, so I won't feel nearly as bad for fucking pirating it. You're going to feel bad about lost. pirating a game from 20 years ago? Okay, here's a hint. You're good to catch fish, right? How many more fish do you need, bitch? Fuck! Kingdom Hearts, how many fucking fish do you need? This is the most confounded fucking thing you'll or tutorial ever. I think the other fish is on the other side of the island. I got two though, did I not? So I got the first one and then I came over here and got the second one. Mm -hmm. Try checking around that. Oh, there's lake. another fish right there. What up, little guy? I want to see how many fish you have total. Pause. Go up to. I have one fish right now. Oh, she took all of your other items. Duh. Okay, yeah, there you go. Do I have to have... No, 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 she's already taken all your items. That's the last one you need. Okay, so I thought I needed two fish total. Well, you have one. And I came back here and I got a fish. Maybe you need three. I don't know. I hate this game so much, right? <laughs> Near the place where you fight Riku. Do I need four fish? I swear to God, I walk over Can here. Can we call like... him Riku? I swear to God, though, I walk over here and she's like, oh, you need another fish. I'm gonna be fucking mad, Gabe. I'm at. Um, you're probably gonna load up like Dynasty Warriors or something. I'm gonna not watch you play Dynasty Warriors. I hate Dynasty Warriors. Well, you're playing it with me. No, I'm not. It's real fun. No, it's not. I'm about to throw this fucking controller. Why? <laughs> My fucking uncle buddy tried to make me play Dynasty Warriors with him once, and I had an absolute horrible time. Well, so, see, that's why you gotta play with your friends, Gabe. What's the whole point of it? You just beat what's, them up. What's the point of this game? Fun and Disney characters. What do you do in this and game? And Final though? Fantasy characters. You beat you, them up. You try to find. You fucking beat them up. You try to find Kingdom Hearts, which is life. I don't know what the fuck that means. You play this so you can understand Kingdom Hearts better and appreciate it better because it takes all the bad parts of this game and throws fifty percent of them in the garbage, and then you get all the even better parts of this game and it triples how good they are. What game are we talking about now? Kingdom Hearts 2. Which is sequentially the best sequel of all time. I don't know, man. Halo 2 was pretty good. 
I've never played any Halo games ever. Man, I'd say that Halo 2 is probably sequentially the best sequel of all time. Sequentially. What kind of pretentious fuck is that, dude? <laughs> it is trash, I'll agree, but it's good trash. What? Earlier you said, no, this game's not bad. It's not bad. You just it's called trash. it trash! That's worse I'm than that! I'm a trash man, I ain't trash. Oh my god. What, what was it? Oh, I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> I know. You're like, this game's really good. No, it's trash though. But you can't call it trash, Shane. It's great. I love this game so much. I'm serious. You can love trash. That's fun. But call it what it is. It's an amazing game. It brings back every good memory of my childhood. Gabe, please make up your mind. Stop flip-flopping, Hillary. I don't know my mind right now. Stop flip-flopping, Hillary. (laughs) Making up problems that are so frustrating. I thought they were so unnecessary. So uh, frustrating. I can't even hold this down. Why are you fucking the lyrics up real good? <laughs> I don't know why you know it. <gasps> Man, I wish Jack Stones would do a fixture song for that. Oh, it's, too, it's too early to do that. Is it, though? Just load up Final Fantasy XV so we can play a good game. You no, you just contradicted yourself in that sentence, man. Load up Final Fantasy XV so we can play a good, a good game, he says. It's a pretty good game. Good game, he says. It's the kind of game that you gotta play like for four days straight because if you don't, if you skip a day and you have like any moment to actually think about the game, you won't think it's good. Oh, so if you have any kind of critical thinking ability, you're not gonna like the game, is what you just said. Essentially. So if you're a dumb everyday consumer, you'll love it. Mm-hmm. It's like a barren desert, is the best way to describe it. <clears throat> But there's like a little oasis of hope. I like how you flip flop on games so much, Gabe. You're like, it's it's fucking awful, but it's the best Final Fantasy game. <laughs> to be honest, I have no way of like actually thinking about this stuff in a way that I can most, give a definitive answer. Most people don't, because like, they think that if they enjoy something, that it's the best thing ever. But you can enjoy something that's not good. It's like, okay, rating I'm, something does not is not necessarily subjective to what you think it is it's what it is okay well give me a few moments and i'm going to try and boot up what they attempted to instill in my brain when i was a child and that is common sense and try and think about this okay so give me a moment i'm going to be putting all my cylinders on a final definitive thought about final fantasy 15 okay and i'm going to be going through my entire experience so give me a second remember how awful the magic system is. Shut the fuck up about that magic system. I don't even want to think about that. Oh god, I'm thinking about it. It sucks. Dude, look at that dick ship. Yeah. I bet you put this here to make people think about dicks. He He's going on all one and a half cylinders. He's got... I can see steam coming out of the fucking ears and shit, dude. Shut up. I'm trying to Oil think. is leaking out of his nose, man. I'm already going through like the entire story and every experience I had with the game. What about that ending where Noxus dies? Mm-hmm. Or when like your PlayStation pops up and says, You cannot record at this moment. <laughs> All recording is restricted at this moment. I don't know. No what... game share. Like, legit, my fucking PlayStation popped that up so if you were streaming it, it wouldn't spoil the ending. That Noctis dies. Like, really? I knew he would die at the start of the game. Well, here's the thing. After that happens, the beginning screen, it changes the little icon to where Noctis is in there with the dead version of Lady Luna Freya. So, they're, like, entwined. So, at the beginning cutscene screen, it doesn't allow recording either. So, every time you boot the game up after that, it'll pop up a big thing that says, Recording is prohibited right now. No game sharing allowed. And all I can think is, wow, it must suck if you were a fucking Twitch streamer. They were hit with, um... With, uh, copyright claims. Who? And stuff, all the streamers. Because mm-hmm. Square Enix was like, don't stream this game. We will slap you with a copyright claim. They literally said that. Don't do an LP. Looking Past this point. You will get slapped. On the dick. <clears throat> Okay. I'm forming thoughts. 
Look at how stupid who the fuck is that? Who's calling him down? That's his mom, which we will never see, ever. There were parents on this island the whole time. No, they swim over to this smaller island and play all the time. Oh, yeah, that's a smaller island. While there's a mainland. Welcome to this. Uh, you need to go to that stupid island you fought Riku on. Wasn't that Atlas? Oh. That or, was Atlas on... What was the game they did that for? Well, uh, but doesn't it seem like the game got a whole lot more interesting now? No. Oh, you either. can't hit him with your little wooden stick at all. Oh, okay. You have to get the key blade. Got it. Which is on the little island where you saw Riku. Got it. But you can just keep fighting these little fuckers over and over again and level up so much. Got it. But you can't stop me. No time is now. But still thinking about Final Fantasy XV. Camille's a man's name, and I'm a man. I didn't think I was gonna be able to jump up on that. Yeah, he's right. It's Persona Five. I was thinking of that the whole time. I haven't ever played a Persona game. Me neither. Oh no. Okay. You gotta find Kyrie. All right, let's go. I don't like anybody on this island anyway. Let me out of here. Doesn't it look like he just became like a crazy zealot. You mean like my Japanese anime guy? Mm -hmm. Look at my anime Japanese man. Oh no, he's surrounded by the blackness. Mm -hmm. He's surrounded by double <laughs> XP. They're oh taking God. him. You two haven't played a Persona game, dude. I uh, don't have time to play a Persona game. They're uh, like ninety-seven hours long. My former best and, friend, pile of shit, Michael liked them, but and granted, I've heard they're great games, but I'm not really into the Japanese anime games too much, especially not the long eighty hours ones. Like, how, did he just turn into the Keyblade? No, the Keyblade, or the light inside of him. No wonder you're tasting games or something. My tastes are great. Gabe's tastes are bad. He likes this game. Okay, now I gotta actually think about this game and give a definitive review. Because I finished Final Fantasy XV. Okay. The best way you want me to tell you what I think about Final Fantasy XV after actually thinking about it. Cause is, I, is it a game? That little box behind you is a Can potion I? drop. Oh. Yeah. They'll occasionally do that. They'll drop those boxes, and then they'll drop red versions. Red versions drop parts oh. that you'll be able to later use in this uh, in this area where you're able to synthesize other items, like stronger uh, accessories and eventually the ultimate keyblade. Though getting it is so convoluted and takes too long that there's no point. Because oh, like most ultimate weapons and most Final <sighs> Fantasy yeah, games? Yeah, it makes no fucking sense. All right. Like, you have to complete the game to get this thing. And then what are you going to do? Just walk around and be like, Hey, I can hit stuff and kill it in two hits. Woohoo! Fucking bullshit. So, as far as it goes with Final Fantasy XV, I was psyched up to play it. After watching the movie, which I gotta say was a very fun and enjoyable movie. And the voice acting was awesome. Because it had so many characters that I liked. I mean, I was just hyped up. It had Cersei from fucking Game of Thrones. Aaron Paul, who played Jesse in Breaking Bad. Yeah, whose it, voice did not match that character at all. I don't care, because I like I, all I those think, people. I think he did a great job, but his voice does not match that Well, dude. what voice ever matches a Japanese game? But it had mm. so much cool world... Or not world building, but it had such a cool... Um, well... Just what cool areas in the movie that what I just wanted to see that? fleshed out. I wanted to explore did you the watch, kingdom. Did you watch the movie before? You... Yeah, before I played the game. That's what hyped me up for the game. Because I saw like this these slum areas underneath this semi-futuristic slash magic kingdom where they had all this death and decay outside of it. This was the last refuge of this awesome civilization. All right, and Noctis's father has all these cool magical abilities, and I was like, "Holy fuck, this is going to be awesome!" Because it looked like you were going to finally get the new Final Fantasy game that was going to finally bring back a lot of the old, but still change it into something new that was going to be really fucking special. But then you play the game, all right, and the game starts you out in 
in my mindset, yeah, you go through there. I, but I would just keep fighting these little fuckers and just go into the area and save and just keep doing that repeat. Now I'm definitely save before this because you're gonna go into a boss battle. If you die, you'd have to restart this whole bullshit and it's no fun. But these guys do eventually run out. So I was excited. I was ready How do to I play. I when I level up. Huh? If you don't want to level up, just save in there and then go on out. After you defeat Darkseid, again, you're going to get dodge roll. I think. Add I think to any statement I make in this game. So I was ready. I was ready. And I was hyped up because I saw the uh, beginning trailer and it looked fucking cool as hell. And I watched the first episode of the anime, but I didn't finish it on Crunchyroll. Wasn't really looking to watch the anime. I was just ready to play the game. And I played the game, and it was pretty fucking cool. You play, and you push your fucking car that broke down for some stupid reason over to Cindy to tutorial land. They teach you how to play the game. And you're able to jump and bounce around, and it's all, it's very enjoyable, and the combat was fun as hell. But the longer you go in, it kind of becomes repetitive. I mean, there is a little bit of changing up, I guess when it implements the fucking ring near the end and the magic and the new weapons but the game is so barren and sparse with whatever content you would want in the game it's a huge map with barely anything to do that's what I see it as you have five weapons you have three outfits that don't really matter I stay with the same outfit through the entire game before I realize I could change it's like they created this huge world that could be fleshed out and have so much awesome and interesting things to do and instead of that they decided to make a whole bunch of stupid fucking DLC and make up for it and uh, updates and now they're trying to capitalize on it with Final Fantasy a new world or different world the stupid mobile game oh, you I mean feel the fantastic, insulted the fantastic mobile game I feel insulted by this because I was they were marketing this as a good Final Fantasy game. It was an alright Final Fantasy game, and they're pushing it way farther than it really needs to be. They need to just trash this stuff. Oh, kind of like what they did it. for 13? Huh? Kind of like they did for 13? Yes. I'm just, I'm absolutely mad. I was hoping for a Final Fantasy 10 that was longer and had more stuff to do. That's what I wanted. Final Fantasy 10, but open world with more stuff to do. But instead it was like, no, this isn't going to be a good Final Fantasy Don't game. Don't even hit his head at all. You can hit his head, but it doesn't oh, he just, he just do got much. A, he just got a big thing. I would fuck him up. There you go. Oh, is that, wait. Is that it? The, the items that you choose at the beginning also change your level up path. You would normally get dodge roll if you gave up the sword and you got the shield. But instead you got sliding dash, which is still good. It means like if you try to attack somebody that's like eight feet in front of you, you'll slide at them when you equip it. So it's pretty pretty good. If you didn't know what slide dash is, I just feel like I gotta explain it. I have no idea what that is. I just assume it was a slide dash. Yep. But it's uh overall I give Final Fantasy a good or Final Fantasy fifteen a good game rating. But it's also a big betrayal and a fuck you. To anybody who was expecting anything halfway. So on a what, subjective rating, not an objective rating. Subjective rating, it's fun, it's enjoyable, but only for one playthrough, and I wish I could avoid the ads. And then on an objective review. Objective means like with all of my opinions and such, right? Without your opinion. Oh, uh, without my opinions. Without like my the opinions, actual quality this is of a, the game. This is a Final Fantasy that you could skip and you would miss nothing. That is an objective rating. If you're willing to get immersed into it and watch all that, all those shows and the movies... I watched the movie before I did the thing, and I was hyped, and then I played the game and I was bored. Yeah, but you tried to stream it. You didn't. You weren't able to play it like by yourself. You were I actually it. did play it a little bit by myself, and I was too bored to actually play it. Yeah. And then I tried to force myself to play it with Koi mm -hmm. for videos. And it was... It kind of burned you and out. And I was already quick. bored. Yeah. So that that's what happened with that game. The rating I give it is turn it off and buy Final Fantasy X, ten ten two HD remake. Don't play ten two and play ten. Just play ten two, man. 
Number one. Mm-hmm. Number one game. Or buy Final doll? Fantasy 3 on your phone or buy it for the DS and play it on your 3DS. Because or buy that the is... Super Nintendo one where it's actually Final Fantasy 6. Well, I don't care either way. That's a Trinity mark. You get those later on in progression. You have to have Donald and Goofy in your party to obtain or use those. That one right there will burst through and you'll be able to get special loot. There's a blue one all the way over there. That's the first one you get. And what that does is you smash it on the floor and you get a whole bunch of money. It points you in this direction, but there's nothing to do except talk to Color Swapped Tetis. Or Palette Swapped. Now, Kingdom Hearts, I'm going to have to think long and hard on. Does that pretty much sum up Kingdom Hearts? That sums up how I feel when I want to play Kingdom Hearts. Super happy. You can't open this chest until you unlock the Blizzard spell. You'll have to put out all those candles, and you can't knock them out by hitting them. The... I've tried for at least What if I just put minutes. the candles on my ass? I've done that. Just put them out in my ass. Mm-hmm. It's closed. Final Fantasy Thirteen. I never got to the point where it was good. If it actually is good. Because I played all the way up until you get to that area where you jump on some spaceship or whatever. And after that I just stopped playing, period. Currently closed off. That's the exit to the world. So... In this area, what you can, can I get licked by this mail slot? No, but you can find letters and if you or postcards when you put all ten of them in, you get some like semi rare item that will be um, common later. So it's like kind of just like, oh hey, you can get this. Or wait, wait, no. If you put all ten letters in, you get an oracrylium, which is one of the items you need to create the final super best thing ever, or keychain. Do I need these boxes for anything, or do I bust them? No, you don't need them for anything. They don't give you anything if you bust them either. But up on uh, the big box, you can't bust, I don't believe. Wait, wait, that big box you can. The ones without the stars, you cannot. So what you're going to want to do, there's a... You're going to want to go into every area just randomly... Like, enter, exit, enter, exit, go, just explore everywhere, and then explore it again. I don't know the exact room order you have to go into to actually get it to where you're going to fight the boss and unlock your uh, companions, which are Donald and Goofy. Unless you want me to Google it. But I thought you were a walking encyclopedia of the game. Yeah, and my go-to method, oh yeah, go into the jewelry shop and talk to Sid. Yes, that's it. I just didn't talk to him yet, so I was talking to him. Oh, no, no, no. The Sid that you're thinking of is the Sid that I'm talking about. Oh, I thought you meant that that guy was Sid. No, I was no, like, no, no, I, I didn't think that. he no, was. No, no, I was... This is literally Final Fantasy VII Sid. Yep. Well, all right, then. Traverse the town. What I like oh. about this is it, the characters in this... I guess maybe in the beginning they seem kind of forced. Like, here's Disney plus Kingdom Hearts with this little guy jumping around. But in the sequels, after they kind of gain their own personality and actually have interactions with the characters that seem genuine, by my opinion, at least. You won't be able to unlock the second floor until after you beat... Uh, I think it's the Little Mermaid level. The Little Mermaid level in this one's kind of fun and awesome. In the second one, the Little Mermaid level is just a rhythm game. And you have to do it to beat the game. It's awful. It's like Parappa the Rappa. He hates locks. I don't know what that means. One thing I hate about this game is locks. Yeah. They, they definitely, like, kind of trap you and say, you have to go to this area, then this area, then this area. Though, towards the end, it's not really like Oh, that. no! His kingdom heart got stolen! Nah. Oh, he's just got a regular heart? You When you lose your heart, oh, a heartless can be created if it doesn't go to kingdom hearts. 
That's where they come from. Though their name Heartless makes no fucking sense after that. If they're heartless, why do they have hearts? How do you get into the... Into the what? Oh, you can't pause this, the game in battle? Yeah, you can't get to the, like, the normal pause where you can add items and equipment and such. Because I didn't, I didn't put on my spaghetti noodle. Once is, there, that... is there a way to get where this shit just automatically comes to you? Yeah, there's a ability that you get later. It's called... Because um... having to walk over these very specifically is really painful. You'll get it later. I think it's called Jackpot. Am I, I still in combat? Or no, Treasure Magnet. It's called Treasure Magnet. And everybody in your party can get it. So if once everybody has it equipped, you have like a huge area. Well, let's see. Why can't I... Oh, so it doesn't go on square. It just... Automatically goes. Mm-hmm. Are you supposed to get fucked by Squawn? God damn, where's that at? Yeah, I'll... no, 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 oh, fuck. Gotcha. This is literally fucking the slowest paced thing. Holy fuck. Let me just pick up all the monies. Yeah. All the money, Gabe! You never have enough of it, to be honest. You're going to spend the majority of your money buying Donald and Goofy new equipment. Okay. Oh, bye, guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This means you're making progression. Every time you have that little cutscene when you exit an area. Why did I go in the fucking alleyway? To fight guys and get seems like equipment. seems a horrible idea. Probably should have played this on the, the brave mode or whatever. Like the hardest one? Yeah. This is fucking... It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. I got 60 whole monies. Ah. Yeah. I can't climb up on that little corner. Well, yeah, the little red thing against the wall in the first place you started out at. Ends once you there. obtain that trinity, it'll pop you through that area right back there. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Hot dogs. Where are those? I need hot dogs. Mm. Chili dogs. Oh, God. Oh, God. Chili dogs. I wish that was a part of Caution. Sonic's uh, Ultimate Smash. In SMBB. Or is it SBB? Super Smash oh, SSB. Brothers. Or BBC. It's SSB4. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, my strength got up. Oh my god. Collect all the orbs. Pad my game time. Pad it for no reason. I can get the health orbs being on the ground. Haven't picked those up. Money? No. That yeah, should, just make sure you get treasure magnet. I know, but that should automatically... Like, you shouldn't need treasure magnet. Yeah, and you shouldn't need scan either. Thank I don't, you. Like, I mean, unnecessary padding like that kind of stuff is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, I'm All definitely... enemies are button masters except for a few of the bosses. Oh, and the big fat fuckers. Tell them about that, Elijah. Tell me about the big fat fuckers. Okay, I'm going to come back to you in just a second, Shane. I'm almost done with my full analysis. So, 
This Oh shit, can I Michael Vick these dogs? <laughs> no, you're supposed to reverse Michael Vick. Oh. There's a, so you're able to search around. In every world you'll find random chests and they'll have Dalmatian puppies in them. And you're supposed to return them back here. And you'll once you reach specific milestones, they'll give you prizes. But, uh... Kingdom Hearts Underwater Dalmatians comic. Let me see if I can pull this Can up. I just run by these enemies? Do I have Oh, them? yeah, you don't have to fight them. Thank fucking God. There are, like, only three enemies that are fast enough to follow you. And if you run away from them and you're, like, out of their range, they'll stop fighting you. If you go down that other alleyway over there, though, you will make progression. I remember that. This way? Uh, no. Uh, so back where those other enemies were at, see in between those I... two buildings right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you take it right through there. I want to get this treasure chest. Oh. <laughs> That's sad. That's uh, awful. Oh, yeah. If you go in here, you'll also make progression. It's a gizmo shop. Mm -hmm. You have to attack the fat fox on their backs when their HP is low. Or they'll go into a rage. Yeah. The fat when you find the fat fucks, you can only hit them on their backs. If you hit them on their stomach, it just does that, reflects back. Oh my god! So, There's so many of these things all over the fucking place. Yeah. Launch me up. Okay. So I feel like I've produced enough of an actual uh, synopsis and opinion of this game to make it fluid. Are you saying your thought process is completed? Yes, it is. Kingdom Hearts, as a game, overall, is enjoyable and fun for the whole teen, or 10 to 15 year old kid. Alright. It's fun for adults near the end, while during the beginning it feels like baby's first RPG. Okay. And though somebody who didn't grow up with this game might think that that sucks and it's slow and annoying, somebody who did grow up with this or who's willing to look at this as more of a beginner's RPG can see the fun and the enjoyability inside of it. If you go back into the Dalmatian door, you'll make pro progression, I believe. With that said... If I give a purely object or non-objective viewpoint on this, Kingdom Hearts is definitely a good game. It was a first crack at an insane idea, and they were able to make it into a working and enjoyable video game. They definitely had a lot of polishing they needed to have done, and they definitely polished it in later games. The first game holds a strong level of nostalgia for fans such as myself. And the nostalgia doesn't really blind me. It's really a great beat em up, and it's fun. This is not a beat em up. Or smash em. This is not hack a hack and slash. slash. It's not a hack and slash. Oh, what do you call it? What the fuck do you call it, Shane? This is a action RPG. You hit creatures a lot. Action RPG. Well, there you go. It's a great action RPG. And it's able to make the confounded idea of combining Disney and Final Fantasy together and make it fun and enjoyable. But Though it is a lot more enjoyable if you were a 10-year-old starting out. Then, I mean, that's just how the game was set up. I mean, it's a game with Disney characters in it. What do you expect? But once you get towards the later areas, it would probably be more fun for you. I'm saying it's fun overall for somebody such as myself or Elijah. Because the first couple levels are a little dumb. And a little difficult to navigate through. But the later levels have some awesome progression. Some interesting characters. Fun cutscenes. Fun boss battles. And they introduce fun elements and enjoyable progression. That's what I'm going to say about that game. And that's that. What if you don't want to go through all the bullshit to get to the end? It's not bullshit. It's, I don't see it as padding either. Or you have to pick up all the fucking 4,000 orbs on the ground? You don't see you that You don't have to pick them up if you're not But you OCD. need the money. Oh. You, you don't literally you do not just really said, need the money. You literally just said, hey man, you need all the money you can get. Yeah, you need all the money you can get, but you don't need to pick this shit up. This is chump change. You're only getting like 15 money. I'm only getting one money. And 
The well, farther you get in the game, every, every one of those orbs is one money. Yep. When you fight better and bigger enemies later on, they drop fat, big, circular money, and those are worth like fifteen or fifty each. You can't get that until you unlock a fire spell. When you shoot that with a fire spell, you unlock Merlin's Lair, where you're able to learn magic more, better. Okay, so do I just have to backtrack right now? Yes. You have to go back to the very first area you were at, and then you're going to meet... Uh, what's his name? What's the name what, of that dickbag that... What if I just what, did that? Well, can I do that? Don't you think it's kind of funny that... Oh, wait. Beat these guys, and then what is? Uh, examine that keyhole and see what it says. Just, just examine it and see what it says. Looks like it's locked. I wonder if you have something that could unlock a big ass keyhole. It's later established that King or the key that Sora has can unlock any key or any hole. But yeah, go back to the very first area where the accessory shop is. Are you fucking kidding me? He's so stupid he can't fucking put the key in the hole. Well, he actually doesn't put the key in the hole. He points it at. Like big ass keyholes, and then it shoots a fucking beam. But he didn't up. even try. Mm -hmm. Like, how hard would it have been for them to do a two second animation without. They clearly don't even have voice acting for that part, so it's like, fuck, dude, just fucking have him try to stick the key in the hole and show me it doesn't work. Well, well the game has problems, I'm not gonna deny that. But it's fun all the way through. Not fun right here, yeah. Not yet, but it's a good sign that there's fucking monsters in here. Jump down, and inside there, I think. Then go back out, and you should fight old boy. And you're gonna know who old boy is. They're coming to you out of nowhere. Who are you? Do you know who that is? I already know who it is. Yeah, it's Squall. Good luck fighting Squall. It does not matter if you die or beat him. I'll tell you that now. Except a different animation, like a different 10 second animation. It's either him on his knee and then Sora fainting, or it's him standing up and Sora fainting. But if you beat him, you get like 25 XP or something. Holy shit. Ow, right man. now, you need like 125 for the next level, though. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna hide. He can't find me here. I don't think he actually can. His AI is not smart enough. <laughs> I'm fucking hiding, man. But the XP is hella high. All right. Oh, God. Can his gun be used as an actual sword in the Final Fantasy VIII or whatever he's in? Look at that. Look at, wait, wait, wait. Look at, look at him. Oh, shit. He can shoot me from around the corner. Is he? Look at that. Look at that. What Final Fantasy game is he in? Eight. Then why'd you drop the controller and act like I... No, I, I dropped the controller because he's doing that shit. I've never seen him do that. No, because you've never seen anybody play the game like I do. Oh, wait. The AI. It finally worked. He saunters over to you like a cool guy. Oh, obtaining magic is even dumber in this game. So, like, the only way to replenish your MP gauge... Is either A, going to a save point which will fill it back to full, or you obtain magic points by hitting people. Each hit gives you like one eighth of a magic block. Ah. You should probably use a potion. I See, did. Elisha. I used a potion. Well, good. Elijah is a potion boy for potion boys. And he has the potion boys. So should I just go ahead and lose? Yeah, just lose. It doesn't matter. Unless you really want to try and beat him. Because the XP is hella high. It's hella high XP. Yeah. And you will have no shortage of potions or anything. Like I said, this is Baby's first RPG. There's only three difficult fights. And the last one is the most difficult fight I ever had. I only beat this game once. I'm going to say that now. Because getting to the final boss, first of all, was emotional as hell and difficult. And then beating him was hard as hell. And I was like, I never want to fight that boss again. Once you obtain scan, you'll see that... Uh, or when you fight a boss, 
the way that they do the health gauges is it fills up with green, then yellow, orange. I know they have multiple bars. Yeah. The final boss. You'll get a level up, man. Kick his ass. He has like fifteen fucking health bars all the way full. Oh shit! It's Riku. No, that's Yuffie. Hmm. Yeah. So, let me tell you about the bullshit that is Final Mix, Shane. Yeah? What's that? So, they in- they released this game initially in um, Japan, dubbed it for America. And then in Japan, they released it again, but with like 15 seconds more of video like this right here this is in the final mix version mm-hmm. that's why it's not voiced all right they never voiced it and the care or the voice actors are too old to imitate their childlike voices all right you get that and you get a different ending cutscene i believe that's it that's all you obtain which is just dumb But one awesome concept that's in this game is you get a, a, a bonus level up yeah. whenever you beat bosses. So instead of like a regular level up, when you beat the boss, you get like a bonus, like an ability or strength up. And it's not specifically towards Sora either. It'll be towards one of his companions. Hey, look, it's dead girl. In each world, you also get a, or most worlds, you get a extra companion. That you can switch out. I like how they made every character look stupider so far, except for Squall. Like, Yuffie looks dumber. Aerith looked dumber right there. Like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. No, that, that's, not, that's not a diss on the game in general. That's just the, the character design choice that they picked. But for some reason, they made Squall look cooler. Which makes no sense. Because it's like... He sucks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Except for in this game, he's apparently bad. Oh, he's the fucking coolest in this game. Like, I was excited to play Final Fantasy VIII because of this game. Because Squall... Well, they, they gave him a better personality in this game. But they don't call him Squall in this no, game. No, it's Leon, but he is Squall. That's like... Is that his actual name in the other game? No, he's Squall Leonhardt. Well, I've known him as Leon my entire life. And that's a way cooler name. Squall's pretty cool. I just feel like they realized that it's a very odd name, and they were like, let's give him a fucking easy name for baby's first art. Oh, I just made it go away. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. So nobody else can steal his Keyblade? <laughs> this game establishes that there's only one Keyblade user. Well, and then in every other game, there's multiple Keyblade users? Mm, in the second game, there's kind of three but, but in, they're all different keyblades. And in Birth by Sleep, there's six, and it tells about the fabled Keyblade War, where there were hundreds of thousands of Keyblade wielders that got into a big war and fucking killed all of themselves to get Kingdom Hearts. That's what Kingdom. That's what the mobile game Kingdom Hearts Cross or Kingdom Hearts Key is about. The chibi one. It's all chibi. Yeah. But. How this game's idea came about was uh, Disney lead in Japan got into the elevator with whatever the name of the guy who created Final Fantasy. Sakaguchi? Yeah, he got into the elevator with Sakaguchi and started talking about it. Uh, They got in there with Ching Chang Man. Oh my god. There you go, since you want to be racist as hell. No, I'm not being racist. Sakaguchi's a guy. He's not the Final Fantasy guy. The original pitch was for Sora to be a half lion boy with a chainsaw sword. That would have been way cooler. How could you make it work, Shane? Let me shoot down your idea <laughs> to say what you shot down mine last night about the cool ass kid who can see where everybody is with his god eyes. Okay, so fucking chainsaw sword. Badass as fuck. Way better How than. How does it work? It's a chainsaw sword. Why would he have a chainsaw sword? Why does he have a key that he beats people up with? Because it's the key to unlock people's hearts. Yeah, you can open people's hearts up with a fucking chainsaw, dude. Yeah, but he... They do it in Gears of War all the time! With a 
chainsaw bayonets! That's way cooler than Keyblade, dude! I don't like Gears of War. That's way cool! Chainsaw sword, though? Oh my god. When me and my brother got our first Xbox, my dad bought him and myself a game. Alright, my brother chose Fallout 3. I chose Gears of War. I played Gears of War for 15 minutes, played Fallout 3 for a grand total of 526 hours. Did you play hours. Gears of War by yourself, though? That's all we had. Just one controller. See, that's part of the problem. That's a co-op game for co-op boys. Look, here's where they... Oh, wait. Oh, shit, dude. You got her Does that back on the blade, dude. Does that seem sexually suggestive? Dude, just stick your blade in. Wait. This is where they explain to him that it can be used to open up doors. So basically they just had that door there that you could go to but you're not allowed to do it because you had to go back here. Well actually they had you to can't open up the fucking play time of the game. To the left of it there's a little uh, open wire. You're supposed to cast a lightning spell on it and then it unlocks the door because Oh okay. What yeah. is that keyhole for? The keyhole is the button to open it first I guess. But it has no power. Got it. Got so you ready it. to play some more Shane? No you're playing. I'm playing for now on? Yeah you're playing the rest of the time. Why? Because you don't I'm think I'm bored? I'm... You're bored? Yeah, I was literally bored playing this. But it's a great game. But hey, I'll play I mean, until you, it's you, done being Baby's first RPG. You like it, that's fine. I was just curious why you liked it so much. That's why I made you go through all the shit to explain why you liked it. Mm hmm. And well, that's fine. I've been meaning to start you're, you're critically allowed. thinking about stuff because when I try to explain to you why I like stuff, I feel like I'm a retarded baby. Well, if your reason for liking something is I like it and you can't explain oh what about God. it you like. I, that is a new move I have never seen before. If okay. you can't explain why you like something, then you don't have any reason to fucking ever judge somebody for not liking anything. And I really want to get to the point where I can explain to people why I like stuff. Well, you did a pretty good job. You liked it. Yeah. It's very nostalgic for you. You, you claim that there's no... Nostalgia glasses on there, but you said you only beat the game one time, so... I beat it one time because it took me three years to beat the game. Well, I know, but you've had this for how long? You haven't even touched it? Well, I've played it a few times. Not not the first game, though. Of course not the first game. The first game I know, like, the back of my fucking hand. Apparently not, because you tell me to get fish in the wrong spot! You bastard! You fucking... The beginning makes sense. I'm just kidding, dude. It's fine. <laughs> It's... Oh, you used all the potions! No, I equipped them. You equipped them? Oh, yeah, you have to equip potions. But you're oh. able to... Let's see, go inside of the abilities. Oh. Or where is it? It's fucked. Customize. Yeah, put a square. Put a square um, on. Customize the square! You, no, this is where you add fucking... You can make magic. Like Oh, we don't got no magic, though. Yeah, like... You haven't unlocked it yet. You mean you haven't unlocked it? We haven't. So these guys are the tougher mans. Yeah. So these guys are actually worth fighting just because they actually give you XP. And they're fun to fight. Like, they yeah, there's more... The The enemy diversity is per level. You missed a whole bunch of stuff back there on the ground. It's garbage. Don't worry about it. But there's stuff on the ground. It disappears after a second. And just because that I know that this is going to bother you, I'm going to kill these guys and I'm not going to collect anything intentionally. I'm gonna but you'll need, you'll need the healing items at least, because you're getting your ass whipped right now. No, I'm not. Uh, you've lost a quarter of your health to so, those guys. This is an easy game. You say that, but you're getting your butt whipped, and... How am I getting my butt whipped? I mean, they're not dead, and you keep getting hit. So? Butt whip. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff, shit. It's whatever. It's your safe fall now, bitch. It's disappearing. I'm bored of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm bored of it. I'm tired of fucking trying to fuck with Shane. It ain't working. Yeah, now I gotta figure out where's the did next... Did you just go backwards? Uh, let's yes, see. you did. Yeah. You gotta go through I'm the trying... dining room and then the other room. So there's one more place you gotta go to. Yeah. I, I go, think I'm go through there. I think I know where I'm supposed to I go. I don't know where it is. Go through that door. I I know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm not sure if I need to go somewhere else to no, unlock no, the ch cutscene. No, no. Yeah, keep going. 
And these guys are actually worth fighting because they're worth a decent amount of XP. It says 3P. Yeah, that's three times more than any of those other fuckers. And they only require like you the gotta smallest max HP up. bit of effort. Alright. Uh, go that way. Yeah. To the right. You go mm -hmm. to the right. You go to the right. Why? Because it's not here. Yeah, this, no, this is not. where the boss battle is, where you meet Donald and Goofy. How is that where you meet Donald and Goofy? Why is, why is this backtrack of the game? It, it does this for the first three fucking levels. So... That's why I'm saying it's Baby's first RPG, because it makes you explore. It but, doesn't even make you explore. It makes you run in circles. There we go. Okay, yeah. Right here. Making you go to the same area over and over again isn't exploring. Well, it has some more significance in the Tarzan level, but Tarzan oh, just pisses me off. I'm sure there's better stuff in the other levels, but this first one is just rough. Mm -hmm. The first three are rough, but after that... like. The worlds are in circles, so first circle, which is Alice in Wonderland, Tarzan, then fucking Mount Olympus or Hercules. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alice in Wonderland you can beat, and it's not that difficult. It's a little dumb, and you have to backtrack and flip. Is this Lady in the Tramp world? No, this is Traverse Town. It just has a Lady in the Tramp fountain. Oh, okay. The best way to describe it is just fucking hub world. Because you're going to be going back here. If you ever, if you want to buy anything, you have to go back to this world. Oh, really? Yeah. That accessory shop is the only accessory shop. And the potion shop is the only oh, potion no. shop. Oh, no! It's a giant thing! This is the night. Every part of this night is an individual enemy, but they work in tandem together. I like how they're like little chess pieces almost. This it was the most rewarding thing to reach when I was a kid. You gotta attack, bro. Smash him. Smash the pieces! Smash him! Cook, cook, cook! Oh, yeah. Well. Oh, watch out. You about to get got. No, I won't. Oh. Oh, he's he's gonna get you. Once oh, you defeat beast. him, they give you a whole bunch of health orbs. Because yeah. when I was a kid, I was too stupid to buy potions or figure out how to equip them. That was the first time you got hit this entire boss fight. Yeah. That's because he only has two moves. The hands do that stupid spinning thing. And then everything else will fall down. You just gotta wait for it. That's an attack right there. Look at it. It's so fucking hardcore. This dude is the most hardcore boss for hardcore bosses. Now the... Oh my god, he just smashed you. Uh, in another game, you fight a different version of him where he's like inverse. Like his his feet like tr full on go transform and become his hands. Oh, shit, so and his hands become his feet. And he he like, turns into a kick man? Yeah, I think he's like becomes kind of interesting to fight after that. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can see. Well, I do like this so far. This boss, like how it's he's just different pieces, and you gotta beat up each one. Yeah, I like that. Never That's neat. But I think this is one of like the few original bosses because the rest of the bosses, like the big bad bosses, are bosses from. Oh, you learned scam. Fuck you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I, I need scan. I like to know when I'm close to beating an enemy. I need to know that I'm number one. But uh, every other like big bad boss is a uh, Disney villain, really. There are like halfway ones. Oh yeah. Like the are boss they... in Tarzan is. Uh, did you ever watch Tarzan? Yeah, I've seen Tarzan. Yeah, you know uh, Slade or whatever his name is. Yeah. He uh, he jumps on top of a heartless that is also a fucking chameleon. And he turns invisible randomly and shoots his gun at you. It was pretty fun. But getting to that boss battle... So you're saying he turns into the Predator. Yeah, and it's fun. It's a great boss battle. It's almost as good as... Uh, the Alice in Wonderland one is also an original boss. He's like a... What was it? He's like one of those guys on stilts that's juggling shit. You know what I'm talking about? Uh... A circus performer? Yeah, but he juggles balls of fire uh -oh. and throws them at you. I thought you were going to say he juggles balls in his mouth. Hmm. <laughs> no, it's just fucking... Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it adds to the mysterious figure. He said that, like, 15 minutes ago. Yeah, when we were talking about what final mix adds in. Okay. The mysterious figure! 
Donald just said, this boat runs on happy faces. I don't know what that means. Well, here's an area you're going to want to screenshot. The story I like a lot, too, because he's just he just wants to find his friends and go home. That's all Sora wants. He doesn't want any of this bullshit. But there's people inside of him that want stuff. There's only one person inside of him right now. Only one? Yeah. He hasn't absorbed Noctis yet? No. He's obtained, uh, I swear to God, if Kingdom Hearts 3 ha has fucking Final Fantasy 15 in it, I will. It will. You know it will. You know it will? It makes me so mad. You know, because it's why, still in development. Why are they pushing it so hard? What's there to get out of the game? There's a, uh, there's like four missions. It got great reviews. It was fun. Just once. So? It's it's not worth this. Like, I love how they... I see, like... I saw a fucking Kotaku article that said Final Fantasy Update's now going to allow off-road driving with the car. Like... Woo fucking who? This should have been in the game at the start. Exactly. They should have released it when it was completed. It didn't need a fucking 12 year development, development cycle. cycle. If yeah, it had a 12 year development cycle, I would have expected a world the size of a goddamn MMO. It has a world the size of an MMO. With the number of quests you can have inside of a fucking MMO and the number of equipment nobody and wants, items. Nobody wants to quest in MMOs, man. It's all for end game shit, man. There ain't no end game in any MMOs. It, just because you've never played an MMO where you got to the end game doesn't mean there's not an end game. Mm -hmm. It's either PvP or fucking raid dungeons, man. That's what end game is. Maybe I just need friends. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, you don't that's why it. fucking MMOs were never fun. I try and play them, and then it'd be like, "Hey, what?" The? Well, you just gotta make friends by being all in chat. Be like, "Hey, man, who wants to be my friend?" Have you met me? I'm not the kind of person that you can just that can walk up and be like, "Hi, I want to be your friend." Well, you don't actually walk up to him. Yeah, my brother's so much better at that than me. Like, it pisses me off. He became best friends with these two ladies he was sitting next to on the plane. These two older women. Yeah. Like he just got on the plane, sat down next to them, started talking to them. We came like BFS with them. They were talking, laughing through the entire flight. My brother got a fucking little pop socket from one of the ladies, and like, he became friends with all these people on this cruise, and he was talking to everybody. And I'm just like, I'm the weird brother that doesn't talk. I can't make friends. Not everybody is the person that likes to talk to people and make friends with strangers. Damn, I, I don't I could... like to do those things either, Gabe. I would rather people leave me the fuck alone. That's what I want, but I also want, like, I want to be able to sit next to somebody and not be, like, awkwardly quiet. That's just when, like, yo, what up, my man? And then they don't talk to you, and then it's like, whatever. I try, yeah. bitch. Yeah. I was stuck in between two guys reading Bibles on my last plane ride to Charlotte. Oh, you guys didn't get seats next to each other? Oh, uh, no. We got, yeah, his girlfriend, or, uh, his girlfriend booked his flight, and then... You booked later on, separate? No, she booked my flight also, <laughs> but I decided later on. Got it. <sighs> yeah. So, the gummy Got ship it. system is really lame in this one, but it's so much cool in the other one. Like, it's like a fucking... What, what's it called? The games where they have the ships that get, like, a fuck ton of bull, oh, bullet hell. Yeah. It's like... It's not is bullet it hell, bullet hell or is it a rail shooter? It's a rail shooter, but it's cool as piss. That's what I was trying to come up with you got oh Dodger. finally the dodge roll is it square uh you equip it and then you can press it square oh yeah dodge roll and dodge roll is the getting only the, way to move in this game get <laughs> the mechanics bruh yes now i still feel like you should have had that at the start you should now this thing right here will annoy the piss out of you because it's going to constantly be saying new because every time anything happens oh god and yeah. they don't have a thing unless you read all? Yeah. Oh, well, no! You can look at a heart list in all the dimensions. I don't care. Oh, yeah? Well, what about this? This is literally my biggest pet peeve in a game that whenever you can't make shit like that go away. Oh, yeah? Well, what about this? You, you literally, literally going through all of it. And it's taking forever. Yeah. Oh, it's gone, though. Wait, do you just have to go in there one time and then go out? I guess uh, in the older game, I guess it didn't do that. Oh, okay, that's a lot better than what I thought. But who knows? 
So let's go to customize. Equip. Equip. The, equip the role. Do it later. Let's see. Donald. Uh, constantly using regular attacks. Defensive magic. Frequently. Damn it. Defensive magic. Yeah. Advanced magic occasionally. Wait, defensive magic frequently. HP items frequently. MP items only in them. Not frequently. Goofy. Constant. Occasionally. Frequently. Constantly. Immediately. Only work. Do it. Do it. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Wait. Wait. You only have one. That's why. Or that's a wait. Good reason. What? Wait. Scan takes up a slot. It's a big load of bullshit. In other games. Dodge oh. roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Give me that controller back. Why? Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Like you're like video clip, bitch. You're like I ain't giving this shit back to Shane. Fuck that motherfucker. That's my shit, my African. We're all African American when you think about it. Are we though? Yeah, because all of humankind originated in Africa. Okay. Look at this shit. Ready? It was Bam. It wasn't Africa, but okay. Yeah, it is. It wasn't. It was a fucking goddamn Mesopotamia. Yeah, which is in Africa. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's in fucking. Stop being racist, Shane. God damn it. It's in the Middle East. You're a racist. The cradle of human life was the Middle East. Just admit it. Uh, okay. The cradle for all of civilization was the Middle East. I lied to you. There's another shop. It's in... Uh, oh, there's there. the kids! Yep. Chat them! Chat them up! Oh, shit, they sell stuff. South of the Heinz Mansion Power. Made for dude, combat. Dude, but... Dude... Dude, Smasher. Should have made for attack rather than defense. You can't afford any of that shit, dude. You're poor as fuck. You should have been picking up all that shit. Oh, no, don't sell it! That's what they're in! I never... Elijah, have you ever synthesized anything in this fucking game? I don't know what that means, but... Uh, that little item can be used to synthesize items later. But wasn't that their thing? Why did you get the Smasher versus the Stout Shield? Stout Shield is... Good for protecting Goofy, but Goofy already has a stupid high defense, and he level up, levels up faster than anybody in the entirety of the game. Yes, like it'll be like. Don't you get look at this companions? It's, yeah, you do. But near the end game, it'll be like lo Goofy level ninety nine, Donald level four, Sora level twenty. <laughs> okay. He levels up so fast. Is that because he's stupid? No, it's because he he's the best character. No, no, I'm just saying he's stupid though. No, he's not dumb. His name is Goofy. Yeah, just because you're Goofy doesn't mean you're dumb. I'm a big link, or I'm a big fat lanky Goofy motherfucker. I'm fat and lanky. By that I mean my torso's fat, but my arms are lanky. Your legs ain't lanky though. They're like tree trunks. Yeah, they are. They're like tree trunks. Oh, it's fucking awful. Because when I was in the plane, I was just like, er, and like I, I had my legs where they were squishing my fucking balls. Oh yes, yeah, because oh, those fucking seats are small. Yeah. Like, neither one of us are, like, obese fat, like, disgusting fat, like some people. I don't know how somebody Herman. like Herman would get on a plane. <laughs> He's literally too fat to fit on a plane. He'd have to buy two seats. Even like, then, how would he fit? No, I think maybe three feet, three seats, because his little baby legs jut out. <laughs> if you poke at something. So. Oh, what the fuck are you got Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers? Is that a movie you liked at least? You mean show? No, they have movies. Uh, I think they have a show. Oh, wait, wait, no, I'm thinking of the rescuers down under. <sighs> but yeah. What about that one so, Disney sh movie, like, with that kid in the eagle or something? He's, like, in Australia, and he's got to he find some, like, golden feather or some shit. You know what I'm talking about? That's the rescuers yeah. down under. A little blonde kid. Right now. There's like a fucking bad guy who's like, oh, I'm gonna get that, that eagle or something. It's, I, I remember there's a bird in it somewhere. No, but 
If you want to talk about movies that scarred you, yeah, you're not fat until you, <laughs> you have, have tits, tits on, on your back. back. There was this kid in high school who sat in front of me in one of my classes who had fucking back tits, and me and the girl next to me would always fucking make fun of him. It was awful. Because there were times, like, I guess he had some pimples on his back, and sometimes it made it look like he had fucking nipples on his back, too. Like, that's how bad you're it was. You're an awful person, Shane. Yeah, it's an funny. awfully funny person. It's funny. So, should I watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? I keep keep getting people telling me, or begging me to watch it. I don't know, I never watched it. Hmm. You should watch, uh... Um... What is it? Fly to the Concords. I heard it was good. I saw a few episodes of it. It's the one with the two musical guys, right? Yeah, but they're, they're New Zealanders, and it's just funny. Huh. It's goofy. I don't know. I like it. You kind of have to be into that kind of thing, I guess. I, I have too many things to watch. Oh, I had name name one. Okay, I need to watch... Um, what's the name of that show with Kenny Powers? Oh, Eastbound and Down? Yeah, I need to watch Eastbound He's and Down. He's got a new show, too, where he plays, like, the principal of some fucking school. Mm. Like, I was like, why is he a principal in, in this? And, like, he was a teacher in Eastbound and Down. Like, what the fuck? Why does Kenny Powers like to be in a school? I don't know anything about Eastbound and Down. Dude, it's, it's stupid. But I need to but watch... But in a good way. I need to watch that. I need to watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. I need to watch Shameless. I need to watch The Defenders. I need to watch all I this figure, shit. I figure you have already started The Defenders. No, I haven't put, I haven't watched anything really at all recently. Why, though? I've been put... Most of my time, entertainment-wise, has been dedicated toward... You items. missed that ring. So it gives you nothing. You can destroy the rings, but it takes like 800 bullets. Oh. Yeah. I just watched you miss that, and it, like, I thought you had to go into all of them. Because you went into all of them so far, and I was like, you just missed the one. No, no. Missed the one ring. The one, one ring to rule them all! Yes. But. Where are you going? Wonderland. Wonderland. Which is a very fun area if you know where you're going. Hey, you know what makes all the Disney things better? What? Is if you know the stories that they're based on. You don't know any of the stories? No, no, no. I'm saying. If, if you do the stories, you wouldn't go ever watch the kids' movie of it. You'd be like, why did they destroy this and turn it for children? Oh, yeah, like how Little Mermaid is uh, based off of some book where she, like, cuts her legs in half to become a human and walk on land and does all this crazy metal shit. Yeah. And then, like, Hansel and Gretel... Right, is actually like a horrible thing. And so is like uh, Sleeping Beauty, and like all these things are very terrible. I bet. And they're like, yeah, let's let's adapt these for children's shows and movies. It's like, why? Why would you do such a thing yeah, for fun? But that's fine. So this room is the room you'll be in the most, or I'll be in the most. This room is it because you're just gonna sit there and jump in the corner for now? No, it flips around like 14 different ways. Okay, but oh, because you turn small in here. Yeah, but you turn small, but the room literally rotates. Like you just smashed that bed for smashing bed boys. Yep, yeah. but you talk to this. That's How what she said. Get, oh my god, he's a talking door. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe it. So, tomorrow is going to be my first day, at least making a solid attempt to develop my game. Game development game? I'm, it's just simply going to be a way for me to have a proof, or have definitive proof that I know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, well, good. Mm-hmm. Well, let's hope so. Because I'm hoping, to learning Java, I'm hoping once I actually am decent Do you at drink it, the red one? You can't. Red one's big, blue one's small. But once you're blue, you get, or once you're small and blue, you get yourself some cool shit where you get to fight creatures like this. These little boys right here are great. The Final Fantasy IX guys? Or the black mages from Final Fantasy? Yeah. Oh, wait, you can get MP from those little orbs, I forgot. But these guys taught me awesome things about mechanics for RPGs, or one thing, and that's if they cast fire and you cast a fire spell on them, they'll heal. Oh. Like, I thought that was, like, the coolest shit when I was a kid, learning that. Was this the first RPG game you ever played? Yep. This was the first. Period. I'm, I didn't play anything else. The closest thing I've to an RPG before that was Super Mario World 3. 
you had like such a strange like progression through games. No, I had a normal progression. I started up my first game with Banjo and Kazooie. I know, and then you just said Super Mario World Three, which is an NES game. Yeah, I played that when I was like six and five, right around there. I played that a lot. Or I used to watch my aunt play because she was able to get way farther, like to the world where all everything was super big. And I was like, what the hell? How'd you get here? I can't even beat World 1. Because I don't understand the concept that smashing buttons doesn't work all the time. But it works in this game. It works in this game. Yeah. Well, let's kill that guy. Murder! Yes. Murder, man! Oh, yeah. But fire. In later games, you're able to get combos. But for now, you just burn all your MPs, bro. Nah, all these spells are shitty. You burn all your MPs. Yeah. <gasps> but Alice. It was, for me, it went Banjo and Kazooie, Monkey Ball. Uh, okay, so you went Ape from, Escape. You went from Banjo Kazooie on the N64 to Monkey Ball on the GameCube mm-hmm. to Ape Escape on the PlayStation 1 or 2. Two. Like, this is the most asinine progression. Like, you grew up in the shittiest time. Because you didn't get any of the classics on the Super Nintendo. Oh, I got all the classics on Super Nintendo when I got older. I played Aladdin. When you got older, I'm saying when you grew up, though. Like, as you're growing up. Well, when I was like eight, get, I played a lot of I them. I know, but you don't get to progress in the proper order because you started here, and all the good shit came out here. You had to go back and play it. Mm-hmm. Well, I've thought about this thoroughly for when I have a child, and I'm going to make sure that they start off with, you know, playing six, or was it eight-bit? Eight-bit eight bit games? And you're yeah. like, hey, man, you're stuck playing this shit. Well, like, when they're little, and they're like, Daddy, I want to play a game. I'm going to be like, here, you play this game. No, you're going to hand them your phone and be like, here, play Fruit Ninja, bitch. Because that's will... an easy game for easy babies. I'm never going to give my child a phone before the age of 12. You say that now. Mm. You said, look, you're not gonna give them a phone. You're gonna let them play on yours, though. You say that now, Gabe. My phone is my sanctuary. <laughs> no better. Well, your wife is gonna give him a phone. Ashley does not touch my phone. No, no, not your phone. Her phone. What do you mean? She'll oh, have... she's gonna give the kid the phone. Yeah, somebody's gonna give that kid a phone to play with. Damn, I'm gonna be mad as shit if she does that. You want to know why? Because it's easy. It's like, hey, I don't want to be bothered right now. You figure it out here. Mm-hmm. So, and that's how parents are nowadays. Like, I can't be bothered to actually fucking let you grow up and, like, fucking do it or, like, fucking raise you and shit. So here's a phone. Leave me alone. Mm-hmm. How are you going to get up in those chests up there? Get, get up here? Get up here, boys? Ch- chests, yeah. So here's what comes in when I told you that this whole world jumps and flips and turns upside down. They go in here. Say hi to the Chester cat. Or the oh. Cheshire cat. Hello, cat. This guy freaked me the fuck out. That dude? It's a kid. It's like he's just like acid trips the whole fucking movie through. And you have no idea what he is. He's, he's but a, if you like Alice in Wonderland. He's a cat and a unitard is what he is. Mm-hmm. Look at this fucking little unitard. He's adorable. Do you care about any of the story? Can I just button smash through all the scenes? You can just fucking smash straight through. I can read most of that shit while it's coming up. I hate the newer one for Alice in Wonderland. Oh, really? So Johnny Depp one? Yeah, just because every dumb fucking... This is Johnny Depp, actually, isn't it? I think. Yeah, Johnny Depp is, and he plays Matt Hatter. Yeah. But any dumb bitch who's ever thought... I'm sorry, Random XD loves that. We're all strange here. We're all strange here, Shane. Look, we're going to put this on mugs and t-shirts and white women are going to love it so much and tattoo it all over themselves. All the way through 2008 or 10 or whenever the fuck this stupid movie came out. And Gabe's going to be here like, the original one was pretty good and interesting and actually had a cool concept and it wasn't about some dumb bitch fucking jerking off Johnny Depp for 14 hours and getting into some fight that makes no sense and getting into a giant war. Hey, 
Did you know that this game doesn't really make sense? It does make sense. Well, actually, it makes perfect fucking sense. Most of the people that play these games have no idea what the plot actually is. That's because most of the people in the games aren't willing to play it multiple times and go on Wikipedia articles and look it up and then fucking just dive into the lore. Okay, well, maybe you need to die in the Alice of Wonderland lore. Well, I don't dive care. In, game. I don't care about it. Okay, then. Why are you But then on again, I've been pre programmed since birth to hate everything feminine. Oh. Yeah. Which, in turn, makes me hate myself. Give a potion to the flower. My dad really scarred me because of that. Thanks. He'd make fun of me if I watched shows like Kim Possible. Why? That's like know. an action show, is it not? Yeah. But he'd be like, ha ha, he's a girl. I'd be like, oh, dad, I'm just watching a kid show. Don't make me want to hate myself when I'm older. Oh, you didn't make the jump. I'd never make that jump. That's an easy jump to make for easy jump, boys. Not when you fall really fast. Well, I mean, have you ever fell in real life? It's real fast. Jump on that thing to the right. Oh, did I ever tell? Oh, no, you can't jump up on there. Yeah, you can, clearly. Why did you... What the fuck? You just jump, you fall down. So, but when you oh, jump you and you swing, you move forward. Yeah, you can't, you can't grab on that one? You can't. Why not? Yeah. Did I ever tell you about the multiple times I have fell out of trees? I mean, yeah, you told us about that the one time. <laughs> I was too I was too little and too dumb to climb down. I only knew how to go up. It's okay, man. Uh but Yeah, you're supposed to gather up these box of evidence. Half of them oh. You found a stench. If you don't find all of them, you'll be declared guilty. Oh, well, what happens when you're declared guilty? You have to fight a whole bunch of dumb guys. Well, why don't you just go fight all the guys? Just get over with. I'm going to. But I was trying to <clears throat> figure out how to jump up. Well, go, go get the rest of the evidence then. No, it's... You have the same outcome no matter what. I've went and found all the evidence. There's nothing. There's no extras? Not really. You Could've... get you get massive XPs? Mm-hmm. So, full explanation of the plot in this one. There's seven princesses of heart. Uh, that are they Disney princesses? Yeah. Oh. Yep. This one is one right here. Oh, She's Alice. not even a princess. Yeah. There's a big old argument. She's not a princess. But she's she... like. That's it. Oh yeah. So uh, you have a two and five chance of not getting into a big battle right now. If you pick evidence that pulls up a heartless, then you win. Just, just no, no, no! Don't get that one. Don't, don't get that one. No, no, no! All the way on the right. Let's do it. Uh, yes! God damn it! We did it! Oh, we did it! Squad this is fan. literally the worst one because <laughs> one box has only Donald, one box has Goofy, and the other box has Donald and Goofy. You know what this means? I'm gonna have to fight all these guys by myself. I know, them. right? That's what I'm saying. We did it. Yeah, damn it. But yeah, seven princesses of heart. When they're all combined together, it allows you to access Kingdom Hearts. If you destroy this area right here, it gives you magic orbs and stuff. But you gotta fight all those card mans. The heart of the cards. The heart of the cards, Gabe. Yu Gi Oh! Oh wait, and I forgot these guys don't die. You have to destroy this area or this fucking obel or goddamn tower. Destroy it. It's difficult. He doesn't even have a health bar. Yeah. Blame that on the designers. Well, so scan is useless. You should have dodge roll. I never use dodge roll in battle, except for the hard ones, like when you fight the dragon. But dodge roll. Yeah. This sweet, sweet HP, bro. Oh, God, you're getting banged. Oh, my God, dude. Unlock. Why are you locked onto that guy? I'm trying to lock onto this. Just hit through the wall. There you go. Just keep smacking it. Oh, my God, you're going to die. You're really going to die. Oh no! Don't try again! 
Oh, are you gonna blow up the rest of the tower? Yeah. Yeah, you did it. Level up. I really wish I had treasure magnet right then. Yeah, it must must be nice if the stuff automatically comes to you. Save Alice, do it. Nope. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. This is gonna be a theme in every level. She's been kidnapped. Where is she? I don't know. Are they still bad guys? Yep. I like how they're just suddenly not bad guys anymore. Touch the Healy thing. I like how you thought about putting dodge roll on. Oh no, I went there to see if I had any more AP. You're like, man, I could totally put dodge roll on. Right now. Do I have oh <gasps> shit, dude, the quick gummy. Oh, this. Give him a kingdom. Oh, do you want me to go and? I can go and make a gummy ship if you want. I don't want you to do any of that shit. Yeah. Any of that shit? I see what you do there. <laughs> you got me, dude. No. Uh oh, there's a boulder. And there's a cat yeah. thing again. I guess you could call it a puzzle going through here. Just take off sliding dash. We don't have sliding dash on. He's got yeah, scan. Do. Oh, yeah. He put scan on. He's like, this is way more useful than dodge roll. It's like, oh, sure no, is. dodge roll is way more useful. I just like having scan. Plus, dodge roll is way better for moving around. Okay, so there's Fat Bastard I was telling you about. Oh, I see him. He's got a big belly. You gotta hit him specifically, or you gotta hit Herman specifically in the back. Yeah. Or he gets all mad and does stuff like this. But he's a m monster in, like, literally every fucking game. And... So he's a staple. Yeah, he's a staple. Because he's one of the very few enemies that you actually have to make an effort to defeat. Without just smashing buttons. And Smash button! Smash, Smash button! Him. Cook, cook, cook! I haven't seen you dodge roll one time. That's because I told you I never use it in combat. I only use it to travel. Well, you can totally Dark Souls it, bro! Uh, do you remember that one Dark Souls video I put on Discord where it was the guys with the suits of armor that would it hurt when you dodge rolled into them? You know what, which one I'm talking about? Yeah. And they use it to kill a bunch of guys because they just gangbang them? Yeah. That's a good video. You want to see it again? No. Why, have you seen it before? Yeah. So you're saying Gabe doesn't do anything interesting ever? I'm just saying he posts a lot of old memes sometimes. Where do you get all your new memes? Reddit. Reddit. I did not need that at all. That's where all the new memes are, man. Yeah. New memes for new meme boys. Yeah, pretty much. Very few memes get, get made on anything else first. What about damnlol.com, which is my first meme site? I don't know. I've never even heard of that Damn one. Damn LOL posts one meme a day. Wow, that's awful. It's just owned by some admins. I remember reading Rage Comics on there. <laughs> Rage Comics. You remember those? Oh, my God. Lay Rage Comics. Yeah. Which was lay funny, by my lay mm -hmm. opinion. Some of them were all right. Yeah, the here we go. Welcome. Is wrath. Welcome to the fucking. It just does this randomly. You're just on the fucking walls for some stupid fucking reason. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, is there no like actual reasoning? Yeah, there is reasoning. But I went through this same area and I fell directly down back before the Alice trial. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, there's got to be some kind of trigger that causes it to be sideways. I don't know, but I need it to be on the exact opposite wall wall, I believe, to make some sort of progression. Donald's dead. You'll get Good. used to that. Fuck Donald. I set him to rarely use any healing items or spells because he uses them all up. Goofy well, has he's to... got plenty of magic. I haven't used healing magic. He has none. He doesn't unlock that until like level 40. Oh. Yeah, you don't get cure until way later on. Oh. Yeah, so it's only potions for now. That's, but after he has cure, awful. he never uses it. I and when he, he does use it, it's after use, used it, and it's completely useless. If you shoot him with magic, does it hurt his belly? Yep. 
So just physical attacks don't hurt his belly. Yep. That's slime. Another thing about Baby's first RPG is, look, Donald's alive now. Yeah. You don't have to Phoenix and Phoenix down him. Phoenix right him. I mean, I'm okay with that, mostly because it doesn't give him full health. It gives yeah. him half health. True. The Bizarro Room. Oh, no. Look at the flying guys. Oh, no wonder my camera's acting all wonky. You have it on inverted. Yeah, dude, because that's how you play, baby. When you're a real boy. But there's a lot of 2D things in here that you have to make 3D. I did waste that spell on purpose. It's okay, man. Uh, config. Right there, there you go. There we go, now my camera's gonna move. It was just up and down, it was... Oh wait, this is moving slow. Why is it moving slow? I don't see a camera speed. Oh, I think it's moves faster in the other games. Or maybe I just don't... Turn it, baby! Shoot that square! Mm -hmm. And now? Now you, you can jump in the hole. Yep. In the Queenie's Castle. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. Then you can do this. Hey, cool, you got a Meteor G. And what does that do? It is just a gun. Oh, for your ship? A gun. For your ship? Yeah. For your ship, boys? Yeah, I ship boys. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I already asked my dad if he wants to go see it, but I kind of want to go see it before I get out there. Are you going over there this weekend? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, Goofy has the most awesome attacks when, well, when he's able to use magic. Dave, it's only 751. It's still, still technically good today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah! Uh-huh. Bizarro Room. Now it's still the same fucking way. Okay, I guess there's a rhyme and reason for it. But there's like 12 different entrances to this stupid bizarre room. Oh shit, I bet if you go to the Lotus Forest and then come back. Fire! <laughs> fire! Now here's the thing. He, he says fire and he'll say blizzard and thunder. Dude, your max AP went up. Equip scan. Thank God. But with other ones, he won't say it like with... Eri or Ero Aga. Well, yeah, because it's, it's too, too many syllables. Yeah, for old Haley Joe Osment to say. Hmm. Is that the kid from Home Improvement? That's the kid from. What's the one, name of the good Shyamalan film? Oh, okay. With Bruce Willis? What's the name of the kid from uh, Home Improvement? Are you talking about. The, o the only good child actor from that show. Yeah, my mind's drawing a blank. Some, I think it's Michael something. Elijah knows. He's hot up on his... Home Improvement cast. He's hot up on his child actors. Home Improvement. God cucking damn it. Man, it must be hard to type that out. Must be hard. He has a dumb name. I remember that. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yeah, JT. JTT. JT Thomas looks like that guy from Phil. Or what is it? Philadelphia or Philadelphia? Portlandia. Oh yeah, now he does. Yeah. JTT. I've never watched Home Improvement. Oh my god, you were sheltered as a child. Actually, if you were sheltered as a child, you would have seen Home Improvement. Did you live under a rock? Home Improvement was an we amazing... Yeah, two out of three APs, bro. Which means I can equip the best abilities. But later... and later. Oh, games... wait a second. Do you share AP between characters? No. Oh, okay. Well, Each one gets individual AP. Got it. But, um... Got it. In later games, they get rid of the magic system like this and switch over to a, um, what is it, slot system, I guess is the best way to call it, where you have slots that you're able to insert attacks and magic abilities that you find or obtain or buy. So if you want fire, you can put it into one of your slots and 
you level up and you obtain more slots. You don't watch TV, Elijah, but when you were a small child, did you not watch TV? Where are you? From the Ukraine, where they don't have TV? They just have sadness and bears? They have TV over there. They just have stuff from the 80s. <laughs> like Hasselhoff? Dude, don't fucking talk shit about the Hoff, bro. I love David Hasselhoff. I accepted him as my lord and savior. I have Hoff inside me. Welcome to the other side. Hey, look. The side I need to be in. Nice. Oh, and this side you have to have at least two fire spells. So it's really fucking annoying if you have no fire. Especially if you use it all. God damn. I like how that guy's just straight up in the air. He's like, no, nah, I don't want you oh, to Oh, they do it a lot. That sounds very annoying. Mm-hmm. Especially when you don't have any magic to attack them. Yeah, because they're immune to fire, right? Yeah. Let I me... just prefer games over the TV. Yeah, man. Are you a gamer girl? No, he's, he's not a gamer girl. He's a girl gamer. There's a big difference, Gabe. Yeah. I love how he's such a dedicated fan that when I post in Discord that we were streaming, he just showed up. He just showed up. He's I like, mean, I don't even fucking care. I'll show up. Do you want to contribute to the channel? EJ? Oh, wait, I just used up all my magic. Like I said, I really wish... Or it really sucks when you do it. You're like, man, let me just waste all my ma Just, yeah, okay. Oh, you're killed. I like how you just stand still. You're like, fuck it. I was seeing if getting hit... Gives me AP, or not AP, uh, MP. But I think I still got an ether. I think you'll be fine. Don't, don't, don't. But do you need it? I'm gonna use the tent. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, tent only restores health. Cottage restores. Can only be used from the menu, baby. Uh, oh, three MP, there we go. There we go. Oh shit. Oh, you missed! You gotta, yeah, look at it. From... Okay, I'm gonna try really hard. Touch. Oh, wait, you're supposed to touch you it. You just touch it. Oh, I thought you were. I oh my you god, you just touch it! <laughs> I'm a walking. I mean, this I'm a poorly done encyclopedia of this game. Elijah's well, right. He's like, this channel's basically mine at this point. Yeah? You want to contribute, though? Yeah, dude, stream for me. No, I'm talking about, like, we need somebody to do cool art. Can you do cool art for cool art, boys? This is my favorite part of the Alice in Wonderland fucking movie, though. That little painting right there. The one painting for paint boys? Yeah, what is this thing? What Shoot is it. No, it asked me to do something. Shoot it. Oh, wait, no, this one does. Give me an elixir. Which is a very tall order over here. This guy's just like, hey, man. Don't use. Yeah, use. No, you were going to use it instead of exchange. Yeah, I was saying if I could been... use it on this thing no, without having to equip it. That would have been bad. That would have been. Oh, God, he gave you all the. He squirted it all. There's a chest over there. Don't. There you go. A mithril shard. Give you a potion. Put it on the flower. Thanks, bro. Gave you all the magic goo. God damn it. This one right here is supposed to ask me something or another Shoot one. Shoot fire. No. Uh, the fire! It burned the leaves! No. If you can't Can talk. you please just go back in there and try it? Please. Try to. Please just do it. Just, just do it. No, no, just hit, hit inside of it. Shock me. Oh, yeah. I don't have that ability. You don't have no shocks. Yeah, I have to does, come back here later. Does, does Donald have shocks? Mm-hmm. You can't command him to do anything. Donald, stop being useless. Goofy, cast Thundaga. Thundaga. Thundaraga? Thundaga. It seems like they just add an R and an A to the end of every big attack. Look, there's stuff over there. That's for, for big boy stuffs. You can get it. You can make that jump. I, I have faith in you, Gabe. Yeah! Thank you for having faith in me, but this is just going to be some Dalmatian puppies. Yeah! yeah. Scan something! That's yeah, just a scan, G. It's worthless. What? Big scan... Big scan boys! 
Yeah, it's a scam, not a scam. Oh, shit. Uh, I wish we had more than one fan. We did at one point, and then you scared the other ones away, Kate. <laughs> called them retarded and shit. I have never said the retard word. You called poor old, uh, what's his face? Like, you fucking remember their name, tell Gamer me. Gamer Bose. You guys basically fought him off of the channel. You're like, fuck you, Gamer Bose, you're dumb. And it's like, but Gamer Bose comes to the streams. And you guys were like, no, Gamer Bose is dumb. And it's like, god damn it, man, stop calling my other fan dumb. Your other fan? Yeah, he kept coming back. And I liked it, it was alright. You guys just kept telling yeah, me. Yeah, he was way cooler than Elijah. No, I wouldn't say that, but. Yeah. Like, even, what even happened? jokingly, I wouldn't say that. What, what's the other, uh... What was the other guy? The one with the bunny? Oh, Zuby? Yeah. Old Zuby Productions. Uh, he commented on one of the videos, like, a couple months ago. He was like, yo, what's up? Too big to eat. Really, motherfucker? Dude, roast it. Shoot it with fire! <sighs> what make you feel better, Shane? You don't have enough magic. That's why I said that. <laughs> He was a masochist. He enjoyed it. I know he did. Why are you hitting that tree? What did that tree ever do to you, dude? I hit tree because I have secret hatred <gasps> for Arbor Day. There's secrets right there. Smash them. Smash what? them. What secrets? Right there are secrets. The skies. They came only because of the secrets. I will fight you one day. You got a blade shard. Do you have any idea what you're doing right now? Yeah. What is that one? You gotta wait until this guy comes down. Now, granted, I like the fact that some of the enemies hover in the air and you have to jump to hit them, but I don't like when they're hovering so far up in the air you can't do anything against them. Mm -hmm. He wants a potion. Yeah, I've just been going through the paces. The this pesos. guy makes you larger, that nut over there makes you smaller. You kick this thing into the puddle. Those things go up so you can reach that other area over there. Bam. Progression. But you can also do this. <gasps> what did you... Though, <sighs> now that you've done that, you can't become small boys. Wait. Eat it! Now I can become small boys. Yeah! Sora took a nut in his mouth. How long is this game? For me, it was three years. <laughs> but how long is it really, though? <laughs> Probably 50 hours. Oh my god. How many more worlds is it? A total of seven, I believe. Holy shit. The one is r really kind of optional. Yeah, let's talk about how good Final Fantasy VIII is. Man, I want to go back and play some Triple Triad right now. Holy shit. What the hell is Triple Triad? That's a triple game for triple boys. I know about Tri-K. Si or tri -K. I don't know what the fuck that means. But jump up on that thing. Tri-K. KKK. Right oh, 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 you can't be talking about that now, Gabe. The Klu Klux Klizzard. Grand Wizard Waka over here. What the fuck? I just hate those swirly-eyed fucking Al Bed. <laughs> yeah, fuck those Al Bed. But he wants to bed now, Bed. I wish that there was a plot twist in Ten Two where he married old Terry or whatever her name was. <laughs> where he married Riku? Yeah, Terry. That's her name. I tried to. Oh, I, I was explaining to my girlfriend my fetishistic love of Tara Strong last night. Oh yeah. She was not very amused. Did you did you say that? Oh man, she does that Timmy Turner voice so good. Uh, Gets my jollies, you know what I'm saying? She told me, I don't see why you're interested in this blonde. And I was like, she plays uh, <clears throat> Raven. She was like, oh, I like her too now. Well, she's played everybody. You remember Shaolin, uh, Shaolin, what is Showdown? It? Yeah. She plays the girl in that one. The boy, you mean? No, she plays the girl. No, there's no girl in it. Yeah, a little bald girl. No, that's a little bald boy. What? Yeah, it's a boy. I thought it was a girl this whole time. No. That's fucked up. Are you not gonna play the game anymore? I'm looking up. Challenge Showdown. Alright, oh, alright. I know you're just... Oh, I, you I were just fucking with me? I was just me. fucking with you, dude. Yeah. What's wrong with the Cool Kids Club? Oh, shit, dude. Cool Kids Club. You guys are taking this <laughs> borderline too far. Oh. 
Yeah. But no, man, we should play some Final Fantasy VIII. That's a good RPG. I don't want to play Triple Case. Come on, man. Don't you want to play Emo Brooding Kid the game? I don't want to hang out with Shane anymore. <laughs> oh, wait. Fuck my life. Oh. I forgot to do one last goddamn thing. Oh, shit. Wow, it was big. Throw it on him. Oh, you used it on yourself. Or do you have to use two of them on it? No. I forgot to do this. Why don't you get on? See ya! Are you mm. serious right now? Yeah, I forgot to do that. Why did you hit that back? Because if you hit it back over there, you can get the secret. Get the secrets? Get two secrets. Secret, so? Uh, you mean you John Secret? No, you gotta go. No. There. In there. Well, I'm just looking jump. around, bro. But you gotta jump in there. Chill, you, chill. Chiller I've never even played this game. I don't know what's going on. Man, I like to look around. I'm it, sorry. It, I clearly like... you're lost. So just follow my lead because I know where I'm going. I'm the Big Tasty Breakfast Boy for Big Tasty Breakfast Worlds. Okay, we need to come up with a specific brand, Shane. Or the... not a specific, a definitive. Are we going to be Dr. DJ Tracksuit Jr., Breakfast Boy, Salt Fam? We're confusing the fan base. All right, so... We're the Big Tasty Breakfast Boys, and our squad is the Salt Fam. Okay, so there's salt on the Big Tasty Breakfast table. Yeah, pretty much. And our fans like the taste of our Big Tasty Salty. Sure. They want the Big Tasty Salt inside their Big Tasty Holes. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what I'm talking about, but Big and Tasty. Yeah, Big Tasty and Breakfast. Boys. I love Tasty so much. She's my favorite character in Orange is the New Black. I've never seen that show. You, I think you'd like it. It has the, you know, uh, Donna from that Sony show? Sure, the redhead girl? Yeah. She plays a hot lesbian and shows her titties a lot. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But besides that, like, I talk about the sexual stuff in it, but that's, like, that takes third seat to the awesome story. It, the story is just, like, the first couple of, or first two or three seasons it's all about the main character which is this blonde bitch named piper but after that it kind of takes a second or it stops being about her and starts being about the other inmates but it's about her just trying to get her way through being a pretentious white bitch in a fucking maximum security state prison maximum security state prison mm -hmm. why are these ladies in the prison oh each episode actually gives you a reason why oh okay and explains does it give you 13 reasons why no, I didn't even finish that. I got bored. I didn't even watch anything. So I won't. Because I don't care. It's not gripping the way that I really wish it would have been. What are you doing right now in this game? I'm trying to find out the next area for progression. I know that there's a, in that area where we're lighting stuff on fire. I don't know to, where that was. Yeah. Oh, the other side of the wall. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, once we get there, there's a little latch that you can undo. When you undo that, you can go into another world. I think after that. Oh, were you trying to get back to that side of the thing? Well, this goes right there to it. No, it doesn't. Or it goes to the place before it. Yeah, you're on the wrong side. Jump over. Jump over. Go right. Go up there. Go up there? The left. Right here. Yeah. And then I'll drop you there. And then you gotta go... Shit. Oh, you didn't make it. Oh, wait. Fuck. That, that took you there at one time. Oh, no, it didn't. It's the chimney one. I'm sorry. Go back in the go back in the hole. I was thinking that, but... I was following you because you know where you're going. The chimney. I know where I'm going. I'm Shane. Look at me. This I is mean, how I talk when I'm sure about something. If I played the game, if I was the one playing right now, I'm pretty sure I'd remember which fucking door is which. Hey, it's not worth it to pay attention. It's not worth it to fuck holes. Excuse me, sir, but on the contrary, it is very much worth it to stick your hole into things. What? Let's go back to Final Fantasy VIII, the best Final Fantasy game. No, whoa, no! What did you do with little teddy bear? Drop down. Wh why? That's the latch I remember. I hit it because I was mad. I thought that that was progression. Oh shit, he's gonna get you. Watch out. Uh, he's gonna sp Oh, he's gonna splurge. Oh! Ah! See ya! 
Donald's blocking a shot. Oh, God. Yeah. Too bad there ain't, uh, what is it? Friendly fire. Yeah, no. Just fucking blow them up with your fucking magic grenades. Mm-hmm. God damn. <laughs> you have no idea how mad that made me. You mean how they ruined magic in that game? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, there's several Final Fantasy games that did magic as bad or worse. Final Fantasy VIII being one of them. But holy fuck. Selfie is the hottest character in any piece of media. What the fuck are you smoking, dude? Who's, no fucking way. Who's Selfie? Or who's Sulfur? You know who the fuck Selfie is. She's a fucking little fucking girl that's her fucking fuckhole. It's too big to eat, dude. I've never seen Selfie. She's in this game. Uh, as a In her game. Yeah, you did. Because we played the game. Which game? Eight. She's an eight? Yeah. Which... I showed you all the characters. We we talked about this when we beat. I, I it's like you don't remember. It's like I but had you to were suppress there. it. I had I had to suppress this. You were there when we fucking oh the tea well, party garden. You found it. Yeah. I and forgot selfie about this. Selfie is not the hottest character. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be the one who dude. decides for this. <clears throat> Final Fantasy eight female characters. I like how you whisper it in there. You're like, oh, I don't need anybody to know. <laughs> I'll just do that for fuzzies. Ew. 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 Oh, wait, no, this girl's kind of hot. Which one? I don't know. Long hair, McLady. Pink. Oh, yeah, Keistus? Yeah, she's fine as hell. Selfie, Final Fantasy VIII. Let's read the sign. Oh, no, no, now I gotta sit down somewhere. Read it. Read it. Which, read it. Read it. Which one can I sit down at? Read the sign. Sit down and do it for your presence. There it is. Oh shit, everybody's gonna knock the fuck down. Yeah, there we go, an elixir. Yeah, dude, number one elixir for elixir boys. Yeah. You can sit down in any of these chairs, dude. Yeah. What do these chairs do? Do they give you different stuff every time? Yeah, but selfie's ugly. What she looks like? She looks like an ugly version of Kid Rock. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, you got blasted and there's more stuff. Yeah, I did I guess half of them are prizes while the if you sit in this last chair here, I guess it stops. Because then you have to fight a whole bunch of bad guys. Or maybe it's another seat. Oh no. Really yeah, cares. bad guys. Oh, it's a singular bad man. Fight him. Do it good. Donald actually killed somebody. Holy dick titties. Do guy. it, Donald. Do, do it, like it this. right. Lick it good. Suck it this pussy like... just like you should. My do neck. It. My back. Lick my pussy and my crap. Do it like they do it on the Discovery Channel. You and me, baby, ate nothing but mammals. So let's do it. Like they do. Upon the Discovery Channel. Oh no, it's raining coins. Oh god. I need to need to get them all up. I can't let coins just die and disappear. Look at all this padding they've got going on here. It's just fun. Is it though? Shane, are you just like a big fan of hate? I, I just like when there's actual progression going on, not this... Well, if you wanted that, we should have played Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Where it actually progresses and you go through the world really, or relatively quickly, and you have fun and interesting character interactions. And, it has fun combat. Are you saying that they don't pad the runtime in that game? No, they have three games to fit in there. They had no room for padding. Because you have three story modes. And you have to go through the same worlds. And every oh, so month. they did pad it. <laughs> well, you go through the same areas, but there's different... Or different... Same worlds, kind of different areas. He different asked stuff if, to if you just complimented Dream Drop Distance. No. Dream Drop Distance is trash. <laughs> Anybody in the Kingdom Hearts fandom <laughs> knows that's the he worst. Said, he said, I fucking knew you had good taste. I don't have <laughs> bad taste. That's why I like... Oh no, you gotta fight the murder Birth patrol. Leslie. I'm doing this because I never did it as a kid. I never sat in every chair. 
Do you and I forget how to get up there to that chest up there. You probably just jump. No, you can't get until you get high jump. I was wondering if there was a trick to get there, but go on the door. I am. Did I say dream drop distance? I meant birth by sleep. You did say dream drop distance. Well, I apologize. I'm playing this game. Oh, these are the ones you're supposed to shoot fire at. Oh. Or maybe you just tap them. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm not good just, at this game. Maybe you just walk up and you press the X button. Or, I'm sorry, triangle button on them. Because that's the button that interacts with stuff. For some reason. Mm -hmm. Fucking weird PlayStation weebs. Yeah. You don't have no idea how excited I was for fucking... I've been talking such great things about Dream or <laughs> For Dream Drop Distance, the best fucking Final Fantasy game. I apologize about Birth by Sleep. But I've been forgetting the best game that's not on this disc. Well, kind of on this disc is fucking 358 Days Over 2, which made me cry at the end. Because I miss Shion. Guess how they spell Shion in that game. Was it S H I A N? No, it's X I O N. Oh. So and you don't go to a voice cutscene till about halfway through that says her name. So for the first half of the game, I was calling her Exxon in my so mind. Is it Xion or Xion? It's Xion. But that's the game where like everybody in, goes inside Sora. As in S H or X is in G. X. X so is in X is going to give it to you. No, it's so she. It's spelled as uh, Xion. 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 Okay, Elijah, I'm going to fucking ban you if you keep speaking that garbage. You don't know a goddamn thing about Kingdom Hearts. Alright, 358 Days Over 2 is one of the best games. Alright, it's my number two. I'm going to say that right here now. Definitively, it's my number two. It has cool combat. An awesome story. You get to know all the members of Organization 13 before they die. Alright? They're cool as piss. Alright? And the ending's fun as hell and explains to you what the fuck's happening at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2. It's good. Fuck you. Xion's the coolest character. Do you just like watch me argue with the fan? I mean, you guys are talking about something I have no idea what you're talking about, so I can't really comment. Well, you're going to learn after playing through... Every Kingdom Hearts game. We got a long ways to go, man. Or, <laughs> if you're serious about doing this, I'm dead serious. I, oh, there it is. There's this latch I've been talking about. Dude, smack that latch, bro. Smack. And there it goes back to the Queen's Castle. That's so sad. Did you get all the extra stuff in here? Yeah. You missed out on that secret. Legit isn't supposed to exist, and it shows. Yeah, she's not. No, and then it's, she's not supposed to exist. That's her character. You got Thundara G. Yeah. Do you have any idea what these gummies are for at all? You shoot stuff in the ship. Yeah. That's it. Where so, are you? When I have done all that stuff, oh, okay. I think that I've reached the point where I can do a boss battle, maybe? Hopefully. Because oh all that stuff that I've done has brought parts of this area to life. Go touch that teddy bear. No, oh, I think he's. Oh, please! The shadows, the shadows. Oh, oh no, the thank shadows. God! Here's the boss battle. Does that mean the world's almost over? Yes. Then we can unlock the keyhole and obtain a new keyblade, and then we can go and fight Fuckface. Fuckface. Yeah. Is that another boss battle in this world? No, we can go and fight Fuckface in uh, Tarzan's world. Oh, I use up all my spells in this level because this guy's too high to attack. If you jump on the table, you can jump at him. No, when he falls down. I know, him. but you can jump from the table and hit him, but whatever. Yeah, but that's too much work. It's literally not any work, especially when you haven't used all your magic. Yeah, well, I don't like And you can apparently just jump straight up to the table. I shouldn't tell you about my tactics. Because they're bad. I don't have any tactics. Every time I say I'm doing something, I'm not actually doing that. I'm just talking to talk. I'm just filling up space in my time hole. Yeah, because I, I feel obligated I have to talk all the I mean, time. That's pretty much it, though. I'm yeah. just going to keep talking. Just keep talking, keep talking. Yeah. Keep talking and talk, walking the walk. Yeah. You'll be like the Jacques to my Jontron. Uh, no, I'm the Jontron to your Jacques, bitch. Dude, Donald is dead. 
that's what I told you is going to be the main theme. Because I'm not giving him any potions, because he wastes them trying to keep his stupid self alive when he's kind of useless until we get to late game when he has good spells. And then so, I can just set him so to Goofy, offensive all the time. Goofy's dead now, too. Yeah. Well, Donald still has a pinch of health left. And he's just standing around. He's literally just standing there! What the fuck? Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, bro, let me just not do anything. I play with all of them in my group, though, because I like getting to the Trinities. Because when they're not here, you have to go all the way back to a save spot to get a different character. You can get different characters? Yeah, like in the Tarzan world, you're able to play with Tarzan. Uh, in the Hercules world, you can play with Hercules. Nope. In the Hercules world, it's more like an arena-type world where you get to go through... Fight Sephiroth. Yeah. But in Aladdin, Aladdin. And you get to play with Jack Skellington. That level is pretty eh. It's compared to the other one in Kingdom Hearts 2. It's fun still. I only have an elixir left, and I'm so mad. Dude, you're gonna die. You didn't even save it before you came out here and fought this guy. I don't care. Uh, you got magic, shoot him. You missed a whole bunch. Yeah. My name's Gabriel, and I don't care. Did he just fuck the table up? Yep. How are you supposed to beat this guy? He fucked up all the stuff. These? Oh, yeah. They come back oh, uh, okay. after a period of time. Oh, God, he shot magic balls at you. He just shoot another one. You can't hit his legs, dude. That's not how it works. Oh, no. Like, do do your teammates just get up after a certain amount of time? Yeah. I guess he was frenzied, so I just had to just block all of his attacks until he stopped being an attack boy with attack joys. Does hitting his legs actually do anything? No, but I'm going to start dodge rolling now. Dude, use all that Dark Souls tech. Use them iframes, bro. So it looks like Donald just came back to life. No, he's still alive from before. But he had like a thing that did on him. I need to set it to where he uses offensive magic all the time. Because he's not using any of his magic at all. At all. But isn't he the mage? Yeah. But I think you set him... And I didn't even equip them with the fucking equipment I bought him. I just realized that. They don't have their fucking good weapons. Fucking goddammit. So you say he did his bad? Uh, nah, for bad boys. The weapons don't really factor in that much. That looked like a really annoying boss fight. Well, he's a subpar, but it wasn't that bad. Subpar means bad. Huh? Like, here's the line of what a good boss is, and he's like right underneath it. So, so bad. Okay. I, I just, I didn't know if you knew what par and subpar meant. Like, I wasn't sure. I know what it means. What about hyperpar? How's a doorknob to get any sleep? Mm. How's a doorknob? He's about to get his mouth fucked with sword Dude, keyblade. put it in him. No. Wait. Fucking put it in him. Get used to this cinematic. Well, wait, don't get used to it. I like how it just pulls his dick in. It's like, yo! Feed this, me, feed me! This is supposed to be a first world you complete, while every other world, he's like super confident about. Like, he'll do a backflip and then point his keyblade at it. He's like... <laughs> but if you don't do this world first, it seems like he's just really dumb. Ah, uh, and you get a gummy. A nice little gummy. I don't know what that means. <sighs> this gummy ain't like the others. No, sir -ry. Should have practiced my Donald and Goofy voice for this. So you just do voice acting for the whole game. Mm -hmm. Why did Mickey and Minnie get a divorce? Why? Because she was fucking Goofy! I used to do this really cringy joke I thought was really funny. Where I do impressions of Donald and Mickey. Would you like to hear it? No, not really, but yeah, sure. Okay. Gosh, Mickey, what are all these corpses doing in your basement? Oh, look at the time, Goofy. Gotta get the fuck out of here. 
I thought that was really funny like four years ago. Because four years ago you were like, ha ha, random XD! Don't, make, don't remind me, I have PTXD. <laughs> I saw you saw that meme from like fucking four years ago. Fuck Finally. Uh, that's the end of the least annoying world in here. And the Hercules world does not count. Oh, okay. This was the most annoying world, but the Hercules one's worse. It doesn't count, though. No, Hercules just doesn't count because Hercules is not even a real, like, it's not save, really a world. Save. I'm just, the love of all that is holy in God. Why? Thank you. Let's go to the gummy ship. The gummy ship. So the point of each world is to unlock the goddamn stupid fucking world key holes. Let's go to the gummy garage. What is a gummy garage? Do you want to view the tutorial? No, I know how to do this. Garage it up. Dude, throw a high wind on there. Rename it. Complete it. Alright, what are we going to name it? Sticker. I'm in awe. <laughs> what? What, do you not like Stigger? The worst world is Atlantica, and that's non-negotiable. Yeah. The problem with that one is you are converted into, like, part fish, and every power-up or ability that you have is no longer usable. Like, if you want to use any abilities that you have, it lets you have a, a set amount or a set number that makes sense in the fish world, but... You don't have dodge roll anymore. You don't have fucking stupid attack bitch fuckers anymore. So are you saying you don't get cool stuff or cool boys anymore? You get... It takes your abilities, all the things that you were able to do on land, and gives you a whole new set that you have no choice in what you do. There's only like a few select abilities that you already have that you can still use. Why are you in awe, though? Is it because of the name? Uh, yeah, a little bit. What? There's nothing wrong with what I named this. I didn't say there was. Do you want me to name it something different? No, like, not, not particularly. <laughs> I partly do it just because I think it's really funny to see how far I can make you mm. cringe. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just buffing. The buffing? More, yeah, the more you equip onto here, or the more you put inside of this little space, the higher the health is. These orbs give you health. These make you faster. Here. Yeah, let's see if I got any more fast boys. No. These are attack. If you don't have enough of those. And these help you maneuver. But I don't... Oh, wait, we got a few. It doesn't matter where you place them at all. This is going to make you stronger and move faster for no discernible reason. And this is what I'm going to save over as Stinker. So, do those blocks appear when you're flying that ship around? <laughs> They're not connected at all. They don't fall off, Shade. I'm gonna say that. What? So they just float around with your ship? Is that what you're saying right now? Yeah. Some dumb hearts. Hearts. World map. It's like 8.30, man. It's 8.30. Yeah. You done playing? I'm done watching you play at this point I think. Okay, well we'll we'll be back tomorrow then. No no, no I'm done watching you play this game. Okay, you wanna play a different one? I don't know what I'd play. I promise you birth by sleep is a no, lot No, more. you have to beat this one first. Okay. Oh, are you talking well this one right here is Olympus and beating no, this world no, takes no, five say, seconds. I'm saying I'm saying just in general we have to beat this game before we look at any other ones from 
the Kingdom Hearts U franchise. Why? Because we're playing them in order. If we're playing them chronological order. No, 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 not chronological. Release order. Oh, God. That means we're playing Chain of Memories next. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that came out before, too. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Elijah, I'm... are you excited? Chain of Memories. Chain of Memories is the one where you fight with cards. Oh, it sounds... Oh, is that the Game Boy Advance game? Okay, we'll skip that one. Is it? Does it apply anything to the plot that's Sh relevant? <laughs> I mean, I know nothing in the plot is relevant, so... Oh, no, it's extremely relevant. Like, that's a main title game, and they released it on a completely different console. It's not even a console, it's a handheld. It's still a console. Oh my god, it's like you fucking got dried jism on the tip of your dick and you're trying to pee. What? It's just going all over the place. Yeah. But see, now I can see where everything is. And I just shoot randomly. Chain of Memories has the best combat. Oh, it applies everything. Non-skippable, he says. Yeah, it really isn't. Like, I have never played it. And I did not know that it was a main series title until, like, three years ago. I didn't think that it explained anything. I thought it was just like, Wee, it's a Game Boy game, but with Kingdom Hearts. No, it's a Game Boy game, but it explains everything you need to know about Kingdom Hearts. Too. So it's it's basically one of those shitty YouTube videos, everything you need to know about Kingdom Hearts, and that's it? That's the, that's I, the game? I'm going to say this. The combat's not really for me, but it is cool. So you get cards. The cards have a number on them. Your enemies play cards. If your cards trump theirs, then your attack goes through. You're able to play multiple cards at once. If you play cards in specific order, then you will do combos if you play three This cards. looks boring as shit. Oh, yeah. It really fucking is. But I can make it go slower. You know what this does? It makes you want to play the awesome rail shooter that is Kingdom Hearts 2. No, no. Gummies. It makes me want to play Star Fox. I've never played Star Fox. See, that's your problem. You never played a good rail shooter. What is Star Fox? Star Fox is the best rail shooter. They haven't had a main series title in a long time. They just had a main series title that released on the Wii U. Are like you talking six about Chicken ago. Walker Simulator? Hey, that was a side game. Chicken Walker Simulator. That was a side game, bro. But see, halfway through development. You're doing more! To go to the other world. Oh! Ah! No, I want a circle. I had to go to that other world. To go here. But later... It doesn't just take you to it? No. And the development... You have to do this every time? No. Halfway through the development cycle, they were like, wow, this really sucks. Let's implement something to make it faster. So you get a warp gummy. So they're like, hey, let's pad the runtime with this boring bullshit. But it leads to the awesome rail shooter, which is Kingdom Hearts 2. Then why do they even have this? Hey, 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 Elijah. Nobody said that game was good. What? The, old, the Wii U Star Fox. <laughs> Nobody said it was good. I just said they had a main series title. Super Smash Bros. is the worst Star Fox game. It is the worst Star Fox game. This <laughs> is not a Star Fox game. You're a Star Fox That's game. like saying fucking PlayStation All-Stars is the worst fucking Kingdom oh. Hearts game. Mm -hmm. Wait, is Sora in that? Yeah! He's in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. All-Star Battle. You see his stuff to the right where it's like keeping track of what I've done? I don't think he's actually in PlayStation All Stars, but I way. know Cole McGrath is. I don't know what a, I don't know what a McGrath That's is. That's the guy from Infamous. But this whole mission, like you get missions apparently in the final mix, this wasn't in the original game, so you just had to go through here and just shoot at stuff for no good reason. But you have to do it because to get to the final world, you have to have a decent gummy ship. All Stars is better than Super Smash Brothers. Oh, um, yeah, and what is it? What's the name of that game that came out right around the same time as fucking... Oh, the Shrek fucking fighting game? No. The... Yeah, dude! The Shrek fighting game! That's the best one! No, no. what I'm thinking of is... Uh, what's the name of that game that was supposed to beat Overwatch Battleborn? That's a good game. Uh, there's Battleborn, there's, like, Paladins, there's... I mean, there's a whole bunch of fucking... Can we just stop with the whole Knights and fucking swords genre for just like four years uh paladins is actually like a i know it's a it's like a shooter game oh really yeah oh okay i thought it was like some stupid fucking it's like swords a and knights MOBA, gay bullshit pretty sure it's like a shooter moba moba 
Mobas are bad. Just because you're a paladin doesn't mean you're a sword and shield guy. It's just the generic version of it, but... They're still technically paladins in the real world right now, Gabe. Okay. Mm-hmm. All I know is I want to stop playing this and read, uh... Speaker just, for the Dead. Now go back. There's a, there's a thing on the ground to smash. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Smash it! Smash the wheels. Smash the sun! Smash it! You got a fucking square. Yeah! I'm, I'm mad because I forgot that you don't... You literally don't, didn't even fucking do anything. I forgot you don't get a key for beating Alice in Wonderland's world. Dude, put that fire ring on there. Mm. Yeah, but he doesn't need it. Give it to Goofy, then. Goofy deserves... At least... Oh, no. Donald actually does need the defense. And this... Like, stop dying, please. Stop being bad. And he gets berserk. So when his HP is critically low, oh, with... changes changes thing where he does good stuff now. Oh well, let's what see. Is, what is slap shot? Is that where you slap him in the dick? Occasionally, what? Customize. Yeah. Yeah. Customize. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta got do this every time to get equip stuff. In later games, you have uh, where you can set it to where it'll automatically refill if it's in your uh, system. Oh my god. Goofy, you're gonna get a high potion, regular fucking potion. Holy shit, why can Goofy hold 18 items? Because Goofy's a good character. You say that, but you do it. Do it. Customize offensive magic all the time. Defensive magic. Yeah, let's get that there. And Goofy, HP items frequently, MP, uh, support actions, special shield. Special attack. attack all the time. Just do. Oh yeah, have him do everything all the t all the time. One of these days, I'm gonna tell you my about my romantic dream. Shut the fuck up, Seifer. What did he have? Shut up, Seifer. Get out of my face. I changed it to constant. No, 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 no. Don't make him waste all the items. Who? Goofy. You're going to ruin it, Gabe. I don't care. You're like, I don't care. I carry this game. Up. I carry these guys all the way through. Either way. Oh, yeah, because they're trash. God damn it. Nice. I forget you got to fucking jump. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two. You don't have enough three. magic. You don't have enough magic. I do not. They're just go on with your fucking stupid self. You know Danny DeVito's in this game? Oh yeah, I know. Can you, can you say that? Okay. Alright, Elijah, if you if you were to see us play one game... One please game choose with, Kingdom Hearts. Please choose not Kingdom Hearts. You the can't fuck? even. It doesn't fucking hit. Where does... Oh, I had to examine it first before it would tell me. Let's see. I swear to God, it's supposed to go out. You, If you put all these out, you get a fucking prize. What prize do you get? A fucking thing appears over there and it does something. <laughs> it doesn't... <gasps> Yeah. Examine it first! Try right. a powerful spell. Blizzard can't put it out. Try oh, I need Blizzard. Uh. <laughs> Play SMNT Nocturne. Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne! SMNT? SMT. Shin Megami Tensei. Okay, well I'm done playing. I don't know what a Shin Megami Tensei is other than it's a weird Japanese game that goes with Persona. Mm -hmm. And it's a really crazy franchise for crazy franchise boys. But holy shit, this game is boring AF, dude. Like, you guys, you keep describing like cool stuff that might happen in the future. Way later in the game, you have fun stuff. Right now, it's. How did you even like? I, I thought torture yourself to get through to the cool stuff. I don't know, but the 
Kingdom Hearts 2 is so it much because, better. Is it because back in the day we didn't have the option to just play whatever we wanted? Like, we were stuck. It's like, oh shit, we got this game. I don't have the option to play whatever I want now. Yeah, you do. What do you want to play? Kingdom Hearts 2. Or okay, Hearts no, but I, what I'm saying is in your free time you can pick whatever you want. Because you could buy your own games. Back in back in our childhood days, it's like if we got a game, we were fucking stuck with it. It's like you didn't really have the option to be like, hey man. Oh, my parents never bought games for me. They bought games for themselves, and then I got to play them sometimes. But, but what I was getting at is like, you can't just go buy a new game. Like when you're fucking seven. Yeah. Or fucking twelve. Oh, you ever see cartoons where... That shit. Cartoons from, like, the fucking 2000s where kids would be like, my dad gave me 20 bucks to go buy a game. Like, my dad never gave me shit to go buy anything. He they, said, they, fucking put that shit down. They, they'd give you 20 bucks to go buy a toy, not a game. Oh, no, I didn't like toys. Like, the last toy I ever had was a Tinky Winky. Uh, wow, no wonder you didn't like fucking toys. You fucking tell it to me, son of a bitch. I sh- and I shit you not, my little brother shit on it. I mean, he is it because he actually sh- put it in his butt? This is way too heavy. Can I stop playing? <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> is that really Danny DeVito? Yeah. Yeah, he voices him. It sounds like it's really bad quality. That's because this is a recording from 16 years ago. And he, like, played, or he kind of played up his voice in Hercules. You remember that? You remember yeah, Michael I Bolton guess. singing A Hero's Path? I guess. <laughs> just Time to, just, time to get rid of some of this padding, let me, y'all. Let me, let me see this. Let me see this fucking... What? Just let me see it. You saved it, right? Kinda. Okay. Why? I'm just making sure. Because <laughs> I'm just fucking play Final Fantasy X all over again. Hell yeah! Woo! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If we could look at fucking Yuna's ass the entire game, I would be okay with that. Where's your controller at? You would play Broforce for like five minutes? You charge right there. Is it synced to the console? I think it is. No, it oh, is. Oh, you gotta log in, dude. Just use your one. Oh. <laughs> I'm Shane. You just logged me out. Well, then you turn your controller on. Why did you do that? <laughs> Pick yourself and then I'll. <laughs> then I'll come on. It just be user one. That would be AJ. No, it don't be AJ. User one. User one. Or it, it would kick him off his... What about Philip Paulson? Can I play as Philip Paulson? I'm pretty sure you can't log in any of those people. Wait, why does it say that this is locked? Your license has expired. Purchase it for the PlayStation Store. Because you don't have PlayStation Plus anymore. Oh, are you fucking serious? Yeah, they want to grip your That's balls. That's how that shit works? Mm-hmm. If you don't keep PlayStation Plus, you don't keep these free fucking games? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, talk about a vice on your balls. Wow, dude. So all these fucking bullshit games I got in here? Wait. Oh, they don't even show up anymore. They don't even show up. Yeah. Do they? Oh, no. Gone. Yeah, they still show up. Okay. Life, oh, is, my life God. is pain, isn't it? Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking load up the better fucking console. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna go to my room and sleep. Are you gonna go to your room and sleep? And by sleep, I mean I'm going to masturbate to Lolly Con. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. I'm dude. kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Holy titties. Titties? Oh, there's videos of Hurricane Irma. Look at that shit. I didn't see anything. Look at that. That's some shit right there. Ah! Have you ever heard of Frankie McDonald? The weatherman? Frankie Muniz? So Frankie McDonald, the Aust- or the Canadian weatherman. 
Hey, Gabe, represent. I don't know what that means. What is he representing? Autism? No, I think he said. I think he's talking about when you said something about staring at Yuna's butt, maybe. Yeah, but look at this. Oh, no, no, no. This it's, is what I made what, by what he said about uh, lollicons. Yeah. That's what he said. Lollies about. are good. Lollies are great. Lollies are the things I want to masturbate. What do we own on the on the Xbox 360 over here? But there's a lot of garbage in here. A lot of free games. A lot of games I don't fucking own. Oh, you want to listen to uh, old uh, Stain singing? Home? No, I don't want to listen to that. Yeah, you not on here stream. Is, Not on stream. Here's Frankie McDonald. Oh, God. Turn that off. I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> Do you hate him more than Alien Boy? No. I can't hate anybody more than Alien Boy. Yeah. Well, there's fucking garbage on this, but guess yeah. what? Even if I didn't have Xbox Live anymore, I could play all these fucking games. Mm -hmm. You know what? Every single one of them. You know what? I didn't get much about place Except for Xbox. this one. I don't What's the point one? of gamer points? You mean the achievement score? Yeah, like your game. Why do you have trophies in PlayStation? Well, like, why did you Sony have straight up rip off achievements in the form of trophies? That's okay. How that's, is that okay? That's a way to re represent progression. But what's the point of an overall gamer score? I thought that the gamer score could be redeemed for games. Well, the clearly you didn't understand how it works. Like Actually, when I would see something like one thousand seven hundred and fifty, just I'm making up something. I never saw this. I would think if I had that much gamer score, I could redeem that for a free game. Bragging rights, man. What is Elijah's th right. Bragging rights. Who am I going to brag to? I out never had all, any friends. Out of all my friends, I always had the highest gamer score. So? I never had a computer. And they were all like, oh man, I wish I was as cool as Shane with all his gamer score. And they I never fucking, had a PC, And Shane. they'd get shitty fucking games like Dino Crash and fucking try to get free easy points. They fucking did the uh, the NBA game where you get a thousand points in like ten minutes, just to catch up to me. And you could look at that shit and see that they cheated. Oh it. yeah, yeah, dude. But you still stayed ahead. It's of It's like them. you could just look at all these games and be like, man, do you look at all these fucking points this motherfucker's got? Fucking yeah, you saw that. You, you posted that like last night. I know. This morning, I thought you don't go on Facebook anymore. I civilization like Revolution is the one. worst out of all the Civilization games. I wouldn't know because I think I played a demo for it. It is. So oh no, no, it was one of the free games at one point. I loaded it up, looked at it, and turned it off. It's so bad, and the stylization is fucking trash. It's, it's baby's first Civ game. Baby's fire Civ, bruh. Okay. Look at all these fucking games where I got some Shane, points in. Holy I'm not shit. looking to play until four in the morning. Oh, we're not. It's only fucking eight forty-seven. I'm an old man. Fuck, never mind. Thanks for nothing, Shane. You're welcome, buddy. What did he, what did he say? He's he's like, I got twenty-one thousand nine hundred seventy-five gamer score. I feel proud. I love that mine. I got like forty-seven thousand. <laughs> what the fuck have you ever played? Uh, let, what's just what's the through. highest? We we're just gonna scroll through real quick. Um, let's see. There's a bunch of games here: Ace Combat, Condemned, Rainbow Six Vegas Two, SmackDown vs. Raw, Orange Box, PGR. Uh, Gears of War, Guitar Hero, Age of Swing, Rock Band, Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero, <laughs> Assassin's Creed 1. Talk Fable about padding your gambling score. Fucking World of War. Oh, call, oh, okay, no, see, I was I was one of the three people that had an Xbox, so I'd always take mine over to Jordan's house. Taylor wouldn't always take his, so there's always two Xboxes there so we could do shit, and they'd play Guitar Hero on my, on my goddamn thing. I'm not a Guitar Hero guy. I barely played that shit. Talk about padding I'm not good score. I support the channel for so long you flaunt your gamer score at me like a fucking cuckboy. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> fucking Last Remnant, Left for Dead, Rock Band, fucking Turtles in Time, fucking Prince of Persia, fucking NBA 2K6. That's the one that's easy. Did you just say points. that you hate people playing Dino Dash? <laughs> they, I'm saying they got those games to, to try to catch up to me. And you got but, them back. But... Dino Dash or Dash of Destruction was free, and then those dumbass motherfuckers let me borrow this game so I could also get the thousand points. So <laughs> jokes on them. And you got that in the He's scrolling cash. through here. You got like 960 points of Call of Duty 4. Fucking goddamn, all this shit, dude. Look at all these fucking games, dude. It just How keeps many going. points do you have in. Uh, it just keeps going, man. Keep Mass going. Effect 3. No, I shut the fuck up. It just keeps going, man. How much points you got to Mass Effect 3? You just keep going, Wait, man. does that say Doritos Crash Course? Yeah, dude. That was also a free I want to play that. It was also a free game. I don't think you can get it anymore. Yeah, fucking, like, just scroll through. You know, 
28 achievements, and I only got 315 gamer scores. Oh, that's annoying as piss to defeat. Because... Because if you look at this, it's like, oh, 10, 10, 10, 25, 10. One of the achievements is like, play 400 hours on. This one's worth zero gamer score. That is annoying. Achievements like that are annoying. It's like, what the fuck? I mean, I probably got it for nothing, but look at that. Mass Effect 2 fucking... Let, let's see what, what it about was. Mass Complete Effect? the game on Insanity Difficult without changing the setting. Shank. Mm. You still haven't played, beat that twice. You haven't played Mass Effect 3. Yeah, whatever. Why are you not playing it? Why won't you play it? I don't have it. You do. Shut up. You have it. It's Shut right up. there. It's not. And you, it's actually not right down there. It's on my computer. You choose not I have to the play PC it. version. Oh, shit, we backed out. Why don't you want to play it, Shane? We backed out. Fuck. Why don't you want to play it? Fuck. Why don't you want to play it? Fucking. You know, I'm so mad because I can never get the last achievement in this. This is a multiplayer achievement. And no way you ever plays multiplayer on this tough game. Play online more than a hundred times. <laughs> I will never get that because nobody plays online. But I'd be Oh, game. is that Lieutenant Bosch? No. Or what's Where? his name? The Korean guy right there? Amaro? Yeah. I mean Charasnable? That's Charasnable too, but whatever. Dude, I wanna play this game again. I fucking love Dossy Wars Gumball. You're such a cuck. You're a cuck. Excuse me, sir, but I am the cuck. Excuse what about Skate 2? Zero gamer score, Oh my baby. god, no. No. All these fucking games that I can get any fucking points in, hardly. Street Fighter 4? No. Fucking bullshit, no. man. Dishonored. Why haven't you played Dishonored, bro? Because that game sucks. I was bored in the first level. It was kind of fun. Well, the first level sucks dick because you don't have any powers. It's boring. It's like, oh, look at this shitty shooter game. Wait, you have played Mass Effect 3. You have 420 oh, score, bro. Yeah, dude. Why didn't you beat it? I played uh, some of the multiplayer, and then um, I got to... I think I got, like, a quarter of the way through the game. And then... I marathon through all three games. Oh, see, that's, 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 so, nice. that's nice for you, boy. So there's no way for me, really, to give a definitive score of any separate game without, like, oh, yeah. incorporating all three of them. Oh, yeah? Because, like, I, as soon as I beat the first game, I switched on over to the second. Like, immediately. Immediately, he says. Oh, yeah. No, I played through all of them in about the span of two weeks. Immediately, he says. They were so good. I only really get two achievement points in this game. Isn't that that game you're always playing? It's from Mission Evolved. No player Badlands or whatever? Player Knows Battleground? Yeah, Player Batman Land. Oh my god. The Bad Fan Man Land. All these fucking games, man. All of them! Elijah, do you, what's your religion? Because mine is worshipping Shadman. Shadman. Our Lord and Savior. Oh, fuck, I know what that is. Yeah, Shadman. God damn it. The Lord and Savior. There's nothing to play on this either. All right, I think that's it. No more Kingdom Hearts two for right now. Whoa, my God! The fucking Zoom man broke. All right, Elijah. Thanks for coming to the stream, keeping us entertained by telling us we were dumb. Much appreciated. Probably try to stream a couple times this week sometime. Uh, gonna try to try to get this back to the regular regular thing so all right man catch you later dude